Yo. 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 I just look at her. She's this time. Man's about to start recording. She's on the phone. Like, Do you know oh, what I mean? Oh, I just shout when you're outside. I said, message him. She's <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on over there? I looked at vibes. I was oh, like, keeping that in? Yeah, it's all in. It's yeah, all in man. Word. Authentic. Proper authentic vibes. You get Do you me? know what I mean? Interrupting the Wizzy Big tribute. Big mood, you know? Big mood. Yeah, let's not Brought by the new Buju. <laughs> 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 I can't believe the streets. It's not Buju Bantam, bro. It's Bruv, like, when people were like, yeah. oh, yeah, um, Buju was there. And I was like, swear down, what? Buju Bantam? No, you're, you're moving on culture. What's wrong with you, bro? What do you mean? You, I didn't you know like about you, listen, you didn't listen to the album, bro? Not the deluxe. Like, maybe once it. or twice. And then I used to hear, I would hear mood out all the time. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what this name was. And you thought that was Gargamel? Was. <laughs> I didn't look at the track list. I thought it was just Wizkid on his own. Like the Millennium Babies in that, bro. I can't believe people really thought people was about they were referring to my man. That would be cold if you brought him out, but this, yeah. I mean, yeah, but uh, don't have that name. Oh, she changed his name. I have another name, like what? He, there's only supposed to be one Buju. No, it's nice. Like, like you can't have two Adels. <laughs> yeah, but I love that you Buju put in ba- Buju Banton close. I love that. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. But don't you remember back That's in the day when, um, isn't it? when um, Scorcher went radio to Clash Another You that had the and name Scorcher? The same name. Yeah. I know people that used to fight at Crown Point in South London because they had the same graph. Yeah, so they used Authentic. to fight and whoever won got to keep the graph. It's so stupid. <laughs> I hate it. It makes sense. It, it makes sense. sense. Imagine, sense. imagine a buck another you. It, it, it makes, makes sense. Forever, and, I've got a, and I've got a rock for my name. <laughs> <laughs> After having my name for so long. <laughs> it, it makes and sense. And imagine if he beats me up, keeps the name and he's a better podcaster. That's when you got to test how loyal Vans is. Ah, <laughs> uh, mate. Imagine when rushing for your name. Bro. Yeah, that's that crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's insane. But yeah, shout out to the original Buju Banton, the yeah. one and only in that. I'm not, I'm not mad at my man, and I, I like his energy. Like, he looks so happy to be on stage and stuff. And I would be. Fam, that place was packed out. And listen, man, it looked like euphoric. Yeah. Like from, you know, the outside looking in. Mm. You know, like everyone was talking about the first day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that that was the one that obviously made the most noise. Like when when artists like have a three or four day run um in a one arena, the best times to go is the first day or the last day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll learn my lesson for for next Can't time. go on a second day. Yeah. Okay. Cause Don't you know, care. they're kinda tired like from the f- like the first day they're hype and the hype from the first day. Yeah. yeah. All their energy goes into that mm. second is like mm. little filler. But then the last time. show they're gonna make sure they close it out right. Yeah, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, and, and, so. and, and what um what date are you going to the last one? Absolutely. Okay, cool. No wonder you're talking so spicy, man. Yeah, nah, listen, man. <laughs> like, watch the throne. I went to the first date. Yeah. Lit. Yeah. Only date they bought out Rihanna as well. So I can close good up. They say she looks good. Mm. Sweet. Yeah, but rumor has it ASAP Rocky's got a pregnant. I just see that on the interwebs and stuff. Oh, <laughs> Boy. I anyway, wanna, I, didn't, I didn't want to ruin your date, but I'm just yeah. You know. Nah, I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. But what, um, is, she your, is she your fake thing or what? What fake? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Number one, don't 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 respond. To, don't refer to Rihanna as a thing. That's that's let's let's let's, let's have it oh. correct. She's okay. getting honoured in in her, in her home nation of Barbados. Or let's let's have it right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's a national hero. Yeah. And fake. Oh yeah. I believe fans can get it. I believe in him. I believe in him. I absolutely don't. So is she your fake babe then? Okay. Right. She's on the vision board. No. Yeah. <laughs> she is nice. I give her all the shares on the podcast. She is, she is, she is, she is. <laughs> Whatever you need, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, sometimes you've got to live, man. You got to live vicariously for your bro. If you, that's my man. If you get that one, bro. Do you remember when when um, when Meek was uh, was dating Nikki and all the Dream Chasers were acting like that with their girlfriend <laughs> as well? <laughs> <laughs> when when it, when it was beefing Fifty Cent, yeah, they will be posting like, "Oh, we've got Nikki." No, you haven't. haven't Just Meek has Nikki, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But you see what buffness does to the man them just like yeah. adjacent I'm around yeah. as well yeah absolutely man the rest of the ASAP will figure that they're around no 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 it's just ASAP Rocky and Rihanna bro <laughs> you look at stay in Harlem chill out man <laughs> speaking of Rihanna her ex shut down the O2 mm. who's her ex Christopher Brown, Brown. Isn't it? Christopher uh, Maurice Brown Christopher Briss Breezy yeah Briss Breezy we, can we talk about that though because um, I saw a lot of the tweets in terms of like how he was received and that people shouldn't receive him in that way in that way which I hear, I fully hear. But I, I feel like everyone. I understand that, but it's been ten years for like some people. Some people might have seen him abroad in like Dam, because I think like, yeah, yeah, like Dam, like like Ireland as well. Um, oh yeah, in Ireland and stuff. But in in London, England, 
It's been ten years since he's he's been on a stage. So for a reason. And for yeah, for for a reason. I went to his last tour here. Oh really? Yeah. Was it good? At the O T. Yeah. Yeah. What what music was that? What was that then? It's been a while. Was that what, Chris music? Brown? Yeah. Was that Take You Down Era? No. Yeah. Swear. Yeah. Oh. Don't well, love you, Turvy. <laughs> Have me body popping and cramping. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that to a beat. <laughs> I so so you know what to do in the edit, bro. Let's run that one up. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, that ratio must have been crazy at that concert. Uh listen, man. Like you saying he's wearing shades. Women's the whole really night. scream. Mm. But I heard no, this, men were screaming. I heard this year. This one, bro. That, my brethren, yeah, sent me a video of her screaming. Well, at this one. At this one. I'm not surprised, bro. Like, screaming. It's like, rah, you're a big woman, you know? <laughs> Pe- bro, people are fans in it. So, to what Lily's saying, yeah, I, like, I hear, obviously, we all know about the Rana incident. I didn't know about some of the other stuff he's been alleged and accused of since then, that, yeah. which kind of makes it look even better. Karuchi. Yeah, Karuchi. Don't do that. <laughs> in the mid song. Way, <laughs> where he just screams her name and that. That's jokes. Yeah. They yeah, nah. no. It's middle of a song. Man just screams her name random. And I was like, brother, you're down bad, bro. Mid song. But yeah, so no, no stage show for 10 years. Yeah, yeah people are going to be excited, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, people have been listening to his music since. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? All of you lot were singing These Hoes Ain't Loyal when it dropped. I mean, people were battling whether he is better than my MJ. Mm. So, because well, of the, um, the, 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 the was it front flip back flip? Oh yeah, oh, when well, he landed on a um, March Madness. Yeah, yeah, on beat, on beat, on beat. Yeah, so, boy, like he's he's got like he he makes bangers. Do you know what it is? It's not just an online thing. There are some people. This this is what I want to say yeah mm-hmm. to make to make a like kind of run off the point. Just because you yourself have a stance doesn't mean other people are going to have a stance. Yeah. And once you accept that, you'll be fine, innit? Yeah. yeah. I know everyone's going to have their bias, innit? If you're someone that's uh, a survivor, if you've been abused before, it's going to be mad for you to see all these people, especially when you when it feels like everyone online is like, oh, we need to support women, X, Y, and Z, to then yeah. see people go and then like celebrate my man being on stage. But your politics and their politics aren't always going to align, innit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, it, it was so mad when people were like, oh, rah, I'm shocked that he's got fans. Like, and I'm like, what? Look at the streaming numbers. It's not, it's not yeah. going away. Don't, like, Donny's had, still had a, a, a successful career since and, the whole thing and happened. Bro, and bro, like, you know, people exist outside of Twitter and there's a lot more people. Oh, big facts. Do you know what I'm get, saying? We get locked in that bubble, loads, you know? Like, like, especially when it comes to politics, when pe- it comes to all of this to, stuff. Like, to everything. Voting, people think politics. that yeah. people live by Twitter rules. The voter wants to let us because they were doing grand for Corbyn and then they're still lost. <laughs> 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 and it, it, it's not even funny, but it's hilarious because some of the ludi, even with Brexit, you yeah. think, think all your peers are voting a certain way. Man have like pledged allegiance to a different party from ages ago, but it just is what it is. No, it's the confidence and then the actual genuine shock that the votes didn't go the way that they thought it would go as if there's not a world out there. Like, I think the so Trump much. one was the worst one. The what? The Trump one in America was the worst yeah. one in that. yeah. Yeah, because they proper underestimated or overestimated like their level and it. So, mm. but yeah, Chris Brown came out. You know, the the sound was horrific. No, no, no. He sounded he sounded horrible. Yeah, he sounded I, horrible. I, I don't feel like he was supposed to come out. I feel like they just said, oh, "Will you will you go and sing your song?" <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's what they wanted to go and do to him. They kicked him on that stage because he did not sound. Hey, whatever that sound is, I'm going to no, loop that. <laughs> no, literally, I'm telling you, they dragged that man on that stage. He was not ready for that. Well, I hear well it. yeah, like yeah, it, it just went mad. It went insane. People were like, "Rah!" They couldn't even hear the music. That's how loud all the girls were screaming. And the men, there was definitely men screaming in that. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you seen the video? Screaming. Have you not seen the video when Ronaldinho comes to the ends? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play football. I think it's a uh, Brimman. I used to play football down there. Isn't it? It's like right the corner from Little Old Kent Road, yeah, with this little cage, you sort of kick yeah, ball and yeah. that. So that's the ends, isn't it? So if he, if he's, if he's come there, the man was around. The, the way the man was. Well, screaming. like Dave screamed when um, Stormzy bought him the watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fans, I'm about your AP. You're not gonna scream. <laughs> Don't lie, you'll be yelling like a You fucking thing. liar. Nah, man. Scream like that. You lot bought me like little vesting for my birthday and I almost somersaulted. <laughs> <laughs> you lot. For my um, my birthday, my birthday's just gone. Or was it just you? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, no bro. Okay, sorry. Take okay, sorry. Away sorry. What I've just vans perks yeah. off my birthday. You lot, but that's how you know people are people are horrible because when when I was opening, like yeah, that's from us. I thought, I, thought, <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, <laughs> I didn't know it was just you that purchased it. Thank you, bro. Love you, man. Know, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. I said thank you at the time. I didn't know. I didn't know the thanks would just be solely on him. Though, <laughs> innit? So appreciate the gift, man. Yeah, no, it sits on the shoulders very nice. Yeah, thank good you, drip, man. Yeah. Nice little Niger um, yeah. gilet. Come Is on. it a gilet? How can you ask what you paid for? I don't know, man. Well, that's what nice, I'm man. We do just we just pay, man. Yeah, it look what? nice. I'm a visual yeah. done. Yeah, I'm a visual person, isn't it? So I just see it, and I was like, mm. oh, it's sick. Cop. Yeah. He said Niger. Yeah, yeah. It's even better. <laughs> Now, I've had, I've had compliments on my outfit, like, right, because they, obviously, everyone's wearing that kind of swag, I mean, but when mm. you see the ticks, and see, like, oh, well, look on, Nigeria, I said, yeah, limited edition thing, just come on. <laughs> <laughs> so don't shout, man. <laughs> and it was good in that. But I'm happy we're back, man. Hashtag off the cuff pod. Come on. A good, honest conversation, never hurt anyone. Yes. If you're listening for the first week, my name is False Forever. Mr. Vans. And we've got uh, Chrissy's back, the Chrissy Hive. Chrissy ah. Hive. With a fresh trim. Don't ask the Come on. Way. No? You're not no. feeling the trim? No, it's a good trim. Me. Little, no. little Jay the Pink vibes. I had, I had to go to the spare barber, and this is what happened. Okay. No you went to the wrong barber. Yeah, I took a gamble. Like, my barber wasn't there, and I was like, no, I need to get this done today. Okay. That was the next guy. I should have known. So, like, why are you that readily available? <laughs> like, everyone else is busy, but you're just free. Okay. Yeah, those are the more dangerous ones, you know. The ones that are free. Well, you called my man at four o'clock, and he trimmed you at ten past. That, that only... <laughs> <laughs> That's the barber. That, that's the barber that only trims the kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, and he was like, "Yeah, go to that one of it." <laughs> Making bad conversation, asking me how many siblings I've got. Like, and what did you say? I said two. Did you answer honestly? I said two. What okay. is this a talking stage? <laughs> <laughs> this, I was, I was so angry, and then afterwards, like he was trying to get the hair off my head. But the way this man was like rubbing my head, like I'm giving him neck. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. hey. Listen, I'm not even there yet. Last week I was moving on really. I don't know what's <laughs> what. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> we said run it back. Yeah, run it back. Spin the block. Listen, you, you need to prep me, bro. Like <laughs> what? Yeah. He was like, "Oh, we should get the same haircut." We? No, he was like, oh, you should get the same haircut as me. I told him exactly what I wanted, and he was like, oh, why don't we get the same? Did he have a dead trim? Dead. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe what I'm hearing, you know. I was just really stressed. And then he overcharged me. Overcharged you? Yeah. You know, I'm not mad at that because women be getting free trims because Bob's on a beat. So, that's <laughs> 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 hey, what are you saying, man? <laughs> the tide has turned. Hey, <laughs> listen, man. You don't hate so me. we've gone from, <laughs> I remember, remember her and George Jet weren't paying for trims and that. That, that you can get, man's overcharging you. Did he overcharge you because you didn't give him your number? Or were you not? No, the comp- like, he saw it in my face. My face cannot hide. Like, if I'm displeased, mm. it's very obvious. So, how much did you overcharge you by? Three pounds. That's a lot. I'm sorry. That's three things on pound land. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear it still. Yeah, run it back, man. Yeah, I'm overcharging yeah. niggas, man. For the, 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 the cold, cold crush. crush. <laughs> <laughs> Old ass nigga. <laughs> this whole venture. Oh my god. But yeah, um, I hope that hanging out with us for the next couple hours, you know, lifts your spirits and stuff. So. I mean, you're not optimistic. Do you know what? Yeah, like I thought, I, I didn't think it was a bad trim. Like, and I told her that, and yeah. she was like, "No." Nah, but what, what, what's upsetting her more is that we don't think it's bad, but she absolutely hates. Yeah, it. she was like, "Support me," yeah. and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "See, women." No, then he said Wait. it looks horrible, and I was like, "I didn't ask you to do all that." I just I'm supporting you. Ah, uh, the one of them was a man supported you now. Too much support. Just <laughs> be rude. So I, I stepped the, I overstepped the line, like yeah. in support. That's not words of affirmation, bro. <laughs> 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 that, that, that ain't the one. That ain't the one. But Hage is here as well, just in the cut. Cooling off, chilling. Um, but I think now's the time we move to like our, our very special guest. Yes. Our VIP member. Overdue. Long overdue. Ah, uh, long overdue. How, how do we introduce her, you know? <sighs> I can give you some ideas if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> The timeline terrorist. Timeline Wait, terrorist. No, we're getting off to a very bad start. Let's start the thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll reload Let's it. Let's start right. again from the beginning. Pull it back. Yeah. Pull it back. Mm, you know. Little array. track life. Mm, yeah. yeah. A ray of light. A ray of light. There we go. Look at her. Is that what it takes? <laughs> a, self, a selfless being. Mm. A woman of the community. Mm. 
I was gonna say mother of the mob, the bare youngers, but that's that's. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Nah, I fling that in there we'll as well, isn't it? We'll your woman that can do both. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Lils is here. Lillian. Oh no, don't stop. Keep going. No, 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 no. That, 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 I've run out. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> You're someone that we've referenced so many times when we speak about like Reach Out Project. Yeah. I feel like anytime we like Sebi's here, we reference you and we've um been yeah. communicating Lily for ages. Is a real one. Oh, yeah, communicating for she's ages. She's my up, but she's a real one. No, no, at the same no. Time. Come on. Okay, so since we're there, okay. Go I on. came here on smoke four vans. Why? Because he's no, what? He's a wind up. A, a regular, a, a constant wind. Don't do because I can show our messages. Your all constant wind up. Yeah. Regular. Okay. You know what? <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> caught me red at it. Nah, but I, I, I do feel the love. Like when I listen in and I hear you lot reference like Reach Out and all of that. Big up Sebi because he does it all the time. Yeah, shout out to Sebi. Big up Sebi. Times, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. You actually connected the dots for me with Sebi. Do you know what? when you said that the on his um episode I didn't know that I I mean I couldn't remember that yeah yeah but it was I don't think it's something you just did consciously like it wasn't like oh I'm yeah. doing this but just like that's just yeah you posted we'll him you. like and then I was like yo do you know him and you're like yeah and I was like oh like can you kind of um have like, a word the dots mm-hmm. yeah and you're like yeah cool blah 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 and like it made it happen and ever since then like you know he's he's been uh, a supporter of the pod and we've supported him. And um, a, a, a great kind of friendship has has formed from that. So yeah, and he's living his life like it's golden, man. He's doing yeah. all these, uh, listen, all these man, new branding He's doing stuff. a lot of stuff. Bro, it sounds like I'm owed a check. So yeah, listen, run you, it back. You lot run it quick. I mean, the introduction <laughs> shouldn't like you know warrant peas. Nah, but what did that introduction birth? We say finders fee. Yeah, is that yeah, your yeah. finders. Yeah, bro. Yeah, saying a recruitment agency. Recruitment agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hundred. I'm not saying read.com, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got it right. <laughs> <laughs> now you now you learn it. You get me. All right. No, nah, but it's, it's it's a good thing in it. Like from one good person to another in it, and you know what what's come of that. You know, he said that being here has um, created some opportunities for him. Yeah. You know, and like that's part of our purpose. I think, as I think well. that's priceless still. Yeah. 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 If you yeah. want to put monetary value on it, it's up to you. But <laughs> <laughs> but no, genuinely, when I was like all by myself, I was priceless, and, and and I just loved the like the connection we got with him and you yourself, innit? Even though this is the first time I'm meeting you in the flesh, we've been communicating for ages on the internet. Um, kind of give the people a little bit of rundown, like who you are, what you do, and like what the Reach Out Project's about, because I don't wanna, I speak want this to be about more. you, and you can you can speak a lot better than I can on, on regards to what you do. Okay, so. No pressure, oh, by the way. Yeah, do you know what it is? I, I don't... Do you know what? I'm going to start off, though, first, with an apology to you guys, because I I, I feel on. like I'm supposed to have been on here ages ago, but I was very flaky. And what... Okay, I'm here because he drew me out in Sebi's episode. But what you were saying was factual, so I can't be mad at that. I hear but you. I, it's, it's really hard for me to speak about So is up. this a woman having accountability I no so. forget that it's not <laughs> no is she not. an accountant <laughs> <laughs> she actually well, is as a yeah, matter yeah, of fact yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I knew that come on man come on yeah. come on oh, researching see that what you didn't <laughs> <laughs> that. Um, but no I, I 100, 100% owe you lot an apology on that end what well, I feel like I do because I so, do so, I, so do we man so do we man oh whatever yeah. um, because I do feel the support but I just wasn't ready to talk about reach out like I feel like it's so layered it's mad like when I, I don't talk about it ever. Like, I don't mm. speak about the the beginnings and why I got to create it, I guess. But first time for everything. Mm. This is the best place for me to do that. So, yeah. Thank you yeah, for, uh, for, you know, dropping exclusive of us. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what, what's the what's the Reach Out project? How did you get going? And just give <gasps> us a bit of like a, a back... Take us to the beginning, as they would say. Reach Out project. So... Reach Out Project is essentially it's a mentoring program for young black boys in South London. Um, we're based in Croydon at the moment. That's okay. where I grew up. Yeah. So um, I started it with my friend Michaela. We went to the same university. So we went to concert, Stormzy's concert. And obviously we're older in it, so we weren't getting standing tickets. This is my first concert, by the way. Like I never, <laughs> I never used to. <laughs> I never used to go out, so mm. obviously we got seated. Of course. Um, but in that seated area, you 
that's where you see all the children because just you, you're if you're under 14 or under 15 or whatever you have to be chaperoned by okay. a parent up there right, yeah. so obviously we've gone to the concert now sick concert great but we just clocked that all the kids that were on the balcony they were just all white kids which is nothing wrong with them being white kids but yeah. we just we were in Brixton and there was there were no black boys there so you did the ends but it didn't feel like the ends Bruh, and yeah. what's mad like where we parked the car um Oh, where do we? What's the name of this road? Anyway, where we parked the car, we just saw hella little youths there as we walk into to O2 in Brixton, and then we get there. There's no young. There's no young kid. So in my head, I was just like, but I get it though because for me, if I if I wanted to go to a concert when I was that age, my mum was working three jobs, so there was, there would be no way that she'd be able to yeah. take me at night. Plus, I've got two older brothers. We're all a year apart, so we all like similar music. She's gonna have to buy three tickets. Yeah, we didn't have that money. Yeah. You feel me? So it just literally made us in that moment just sit there and think like, right, it's mad. Like these kids are experiencing that, but you want ones that you want them w- to experience like regular things. Yeah, like this is regular. This is not what 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 um those white young kids were experiencing is is mad. It's in, it's, it was in, it was an incredible show, mm. and that kind of shit can oh my love swear. <sighs> Please, Ooh. I thought you listened to the show. I know, but I said I you might. You weren't shouting. You ain't shouting in so long. I know, I know, <laughs> but okay, sorry. Ugh. Okay, shite. You can swear. Nice. You can swear. So don't no, look at I'm me. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be a better person because I've got a really. Oh, you got a potty mouth. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah, but it's not. It's not good. It's. I mean. Nice. No, good. It's not. It's expressive. Yeah, man. It's just emotive language, uh, when man. When you lot edit in this episode, you're going to see how expressive it is. Okay. Because, fam. But yeah. There we go. Oh, I've got to say now. But um, essentially. You're saying what the kids were experiencing yeah, is, was, was a madness at the fam, concert. Stuff like that can change your life, especially if music is your thing. Like, it's yeah. not even just music, but fam, you're seeing a black man that came from where you. Yeah. Bro, and he's here. People are singing along to his music. He's got an incredible production. That shit can ignite things in your in your head, but these kids were not there to see it. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? So, um, I just me and I said to, I messaged Michaela. I was just like, do you know what? Like this thing, it probably bothered me. I I think we can. We have, we've got the capacity to take a couple of kids to like the next right big like show, I guess. Right. Um. So we just started planning that. Um. We started in a school in Brixton. And we got six kids. I think I tweeted it. I was just like, bruh, this is what we saw at, at Stormzy's concert. This is what we're going to do. Just so, you know, them days I was just tweeting whatever was in my head kind of right. thing. But I'm glad I did though, because there's a woman, my dear friend, Bianca, she was working at Island Records at the time. She messaged me and she was just like, don't buy tickets, I got you. Dope. I didn't spend a penny. Bear in mind, me and Michaela had sat down and said, all right, so how much can you afford? Mm. How much can I afford? She said free. I said free. She said cool. That's the number we're gonna go with. Yeah. Food white because remember you gotta calculate. We gotta feed these kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Bianca said, "Don't worry, I got you tickets. We've got that done. Don't even think about it." That was cool. Bear in mind, I've tweeted it. Stormzy messaged me and he was just like, "Lil's is sick. What do you need?" And I was like, "Bianca's already sorted tickets." He was like, "Alright, cool. How you getting there?" This guy rented out like a Mercedes coach for like nine ten people to get on <laughs> clean mm. clean yeah, yeah money over there still bruh mm. bear in mind so we still gotta think about food and clothes yeah my friend annie i hadn't even i don't think had i met at that time i don't think i had but we were like speaking on that so this is just media. by the power of twitter I, just from that tweet bro mm. she's messaged me and she's just like lils what's your account details this girl sent me 400 pounds Wow. For me to pay for food and for them to buy merch. Mm. So basically, we came up with this idea and I didn't spend a penny. Mm. Me and Michaela were not out of a penny. So we took these kids. The school we went to, headache, yeah. We was, oh, let me not even say anything of the school. But yeah, headache, <laughs> yeah. Um, we took these kids and we, before we took them to the show, actually, we had like an icebreaker session to like meet them. Obviously, because we're just random people. We told us we told the school, look, we've got six tickets. Pick your ki- pick the kids that really need it. So those that are at risk of, you know, whether they're joining gangs or that are disruptive in class, that just need that extra bit of encouragement. Yeah. Those are the kids we want because those are the kids that the schools write off. And yeah. For me, like they write them off over dumb, s- s- 
stuff yeah so we've said that they've picked their kids um and we said all right cool it's about two three weeks before the concert and it was the bbk concert the takeover at um oh, the o2 at the o2, o2. Yeah, you look like them enjoying lit life. Bro, they had never been to the O2 before. Oh, this is the thing, like, you know, when you mentioned that it all came from the power of one tweet, Bro. it resonated with a lot of people because they're like, actually, it's a thing that, they, like, a lot of people have noticed, like, especially when it comes up or if someone spots it, it's like, rah, actually, like, when you do go to concerts, you don't see a lot of young people. You see, like, a lot of... I went to... um uh, a tiny temple concert once yeah okay um one of my brethren's worked at um a record label so just handing out tickets so i was like oh yeah he's, he's doing it too blah blah blah. let me go check it out mm. full of young white kids um not to say that like i know that tiny, tiny's demographic is yeah a, a, a certain predominant place yeah. but you're still gonna have like young kids that want to go to yeah, yeah, okay yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. i'm saying like because you know there's young black kids that would like What's his commercial like? sound like yeah, you know yeah. he's, he's he's a pop star he's mm. he's someone that you know they could be looking up to even so i was like right there's no black kids none mm. you mean to tell me like that there's none out there but it could be a situation what in in what um leading was sharing like with um, that Stormzy concert at the O2 Brixton mm. you know so no more than anything it's just like it kind of shows it's wonderful on one hand but it shows kind of sometimes where it flawed a little bit it's like where it feels like sometimes not the people you work with and mm. help you out that a lot of us are waiting for someone to set pace yeah yeah you know? yeah. yeah yeah. that's exactly what it is mm. and yeah. I hear it I imagine it because I, if you know it's like if, especially how we talk on the podcast if we say yo um, I need X, Y, and Z from you yeah, you're gonna get it in that, but I'm always gonna be as forthcoming to maybe start the maybe the conversation or the action, whatever. Just like we're a little bit passive in it. It's it's yeah. not all their bad things, but just that kind of it's just in my head. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, bro, yeah. bro. Even like wrestling, bro. I took my brother to um, Monday Night Raw. Yeah, when they came to to London, bro. Like we all grew up um, everyone watching wrestling, and that wasn't even an option for us back then. What, bro? They <laughs> listen. Like they came to to London too, but none of us would have went to that, mm. even if we wanted to. Our parents wouldn't have taken us to that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But like, we know so, better now, so we do, but a bit more plugged in and yeah. tuned in. So I went. White kids. White kids. Mm. White Asian kids. It's mad. It's stuff like that that like. So I never went to a concert when I was younger, but I didn't know I was missing out on anything. Mm. We're not even getting that opportunity to just... Channel U was enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Channel U was enough, but I didn't have the money to text him for the song that I wanted. I wanted to see Rosa G's every day. I didn't have the money to text that. Try texting that 40446 text um, yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. your mum's yeah. phone. Your mum will kick you out. That's what I'm saying, but people, bear in mind, there are, there's a demographic that was texting in. Of course, these, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Channel you, all, all the other channels. Like yeah. these are things that you, I didn't even realize. That far, like this is I missed out on this experience as a kid. Mm. Like legit missed out on it. No, right? Because like my sister, she's seen Dave a bunch of times. Like she's like, she's been her her generation. She's been going concerts. It's, it's mm. like to to point be like, yeah, I'm not going to this one. Is he outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's outside. Oh yeah. So like, okay. that's she's a concert girl from young. Yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, I didn't really start going to shows. Yeah, like yeah. I think maybe probably like uni times probably. Yeah, probably like uni times. And even then, Loki, some of that was like club PA performances type mm -hmm. of thing. But to actually be like I'm going to this one particular artist to at see a concert. them yeah, at a concert yeah. or uh, at first. an arena, sorry. Yeah, wh whatever the case may be in it, like their 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 headline show and that that was when I was I'll tell you what adult. though. My first concert was like must have been like eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah, it was the Backstreet yeah. Boys. Oh, hey, cold. <laughs> Though at Copper. Els Court, one guy in my primary school, it was his birthday. Yeah, and like me and him were cool at the time, so I think his mum bought him a ticket and 
two of his mates. Yeah, like bring your friends. Mm. Yeah, him. and he asked me, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love Top of the Pops. <laughs> <laughs> Backshoot boys, it hits. Yeah, come on. Right. Um. So yeah, like it was my it it was nuts to me. Like, have you got photos from that? Did you take pictures? Did his mum take pictures and stuff. Yeah, they they could have. Oh, oh, you ain't um, got them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's because be like in the archives. Like any time, like I, I could go home and I, I'm almost still got these bag of pictures and that stuff. Yeah. Some yeah. stuff I don't, I don't remember, remember being there, but yeah. it's just dope just to see that. Some of my primary here, school was... friends have like sent me, um, pics that they found. Yeah. In their yard, that's like, dope. it's it's crazy. It's nuts. But yeah, for that for that particular concert, I can't remember if we took pictures or not. Yeah. But yeah, man, Tatiana Ali was supporting them. It was mad. It was mad. Look at you, horny man from young. <laughs> <laughs> little Ashley. Little, little Ashley. That's yeah. cold. That's that's a dope memory to have still. Um, but yeah, so you were saying, you notice notice obviously the disparity. You've then sent the tweet out. Yeah. You start getting responses from your friend that works at a record label. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Storms has reached out. Mm-hmm. He's put on the the car for them. Yeah. So you was talking. I think you was you was alluding to the experience with the school. So yeah, you've so got like, them to obviously pick out the the six six or so kids. Yeah, they picked out the six kids, and we said, okay, we want the tickets to mean something. So tell them that this is going to be the end result. We just need good behavior. Okay. For the le- for the last couple of weeks of school. Yeah. Just Pattern up, hard. man. Yeah, like just work hard, kind yeah. of thing. Um, bro, and they all did. Um, the school itself was in is a, is in a very sticky area in. Brixton mm. so um, I think one of the kids that was initially picked out there was an incident and bear in mind these kids are young I think I was in like year 8 year 9 year 9 year 10 crazy and they're having like proper crazy weapon incidents right so cool we've got our kids now we meet them for the first time and when I tell you like I don't know I'd never worked with young people before like I'm I'm an accountant I don't I don't yeah, I've not spoken to anyone younger than my sister. She's five. You don't talk to people that haven't got any number. Right, basically. right, right, right. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? Yeah. Like because for what reason? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you ain't got no ready. Um, <laughs> it's mad because uh, and that that is important to me because for me it's been a journey of learning. Yeah. Because I don't. I, when I tell you I've not gone, not done. At that time I hadn't done any courses or anything like that to kind of know what it is to really interact with a kid or whatever. But yeah, we meet these kids, bruh, funny as hell. Like me and Michaela were just looking at each other like, oh, this is gonna be, we can't, this can't be a one and done thing. Mm. Anyway, so we go to O2 now, and obviously they've taken over the whole of the O2. So there was like ice skating, there was football, there was. I remember so right, right, right. he was yeah. a correspondent from. Oh that. yeah, he was. He was our hood but correspondent still. It was crazy, crazy. Like, then we took them to to dinner. They didn't even like have like dinner etiquette. Like they never to O2. They didn't have dinner etiquette. Like, they literally was teaching them like, okay, so. Maybe not have your whole body on the table, kind of thing. I thought like, the dinner etiquette. Put your elbows on the uh, table. No, I know. No, no, no. What they was. At least it's not a fancy restaurant where there's bare cutlery, man. Just give me the fucking knife and fork, oh bro. Gosh. Sometimes I, I can't lie to you. I've got to put myself bare. It's bare cr- unnecessary, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Nah. Don't talk about oh, yeah, that's, that's nah, the. Nah, right, shut nah, up, nah, man. This, I'll use that one in it. Nah, no decorum, guys. <laughs> when I tell you, see me, I'm unruly too. Mm. They well, were like, triple that. It was too much for you. Triple. No, in terms of just like, but they, you can't put that on because they just they don't know. Like they're not going yeah. on to going to dinners. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's nice to teach them these type of things, and they're they're willing to learn. Like for them, it's all a new experience. So they're not like, oh, dead. I don't. They're actually like, oh, this is interesting. They're trying to. It was nice anyway. It was really really nice. Um, got them merch. Um, it was a sick concert. We get back on the coach. And we're just like, this can't be one and done. It can't be. Like, it legit can't be. You love to them to that mad high. And it's like, oh yeah, go back to yeah. your state. But yeah, but like, not even, even at that, it's like, I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're right, I'll, I'll be fuming. Fam. Mine's on the O2, hanging out with, with, with Fam. Skepta in that. Do you know what? And, and the thing is, I like it, man. bro, and the thing is, is that like, Take me back. <laughs> they're getting merch. Yeah. And it could be a situation where your parent might, you could be the odd child that goes to the concert where their parent might take you yeah, to yeah. a concert, but you're not fucking getting merch. Yeah, merch is a, m- merch is a big plus. Bro, Keith. Yeah. the concert is enough, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Concert, home. Wear the concert t-shirt and your brain. No McDonald's when you're getting home. There's <laughs> yeah. rice at home. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? They're getting merch. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have to go back to the end with proof. Do you know what I mean? Like, I hear that. Legit, like, it was, it was amazing. And I think for me, what we learned is that you can't, 
with kids for it to be effective you can't just come in and come out i feel like they've got a lot of people in their lives that just come in and come out mm. there's a lot of people that come in they do their one two things in the school and then they they duck the kids don't see them again and to me this this it's not nice especially with a lot of a lot isn't of that like what life is essentially though it is but is that how it should be though just because that's how it is i don't want to replicate that i don't want to ever be that. it's fair but you know it's, I, I guess like a little bit of that gives them a sense of reality as they get older because sometimes like when we're young what adult life really is is very clouded so like even now i'm shocked i'm tired of adulting right now do you know what i'm saying like we wasn't we were in a rush to grow up not knowing the many implications of what being an adult is about I would have done what some of them people do, just stay in uni forever. Fam. Fam. Or masters. Changing courses. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Multiple times. That's what I'm saying. Like, So, obviously, you don't want youngsters to grow up too fast. But, like, sometimes you've got to weigh them in a little but you bit. Know, it's because to... we're on the other side of it, and for the most part, we've turned out semi-decent adults and that. We, yeah. We're okay with level-headed and that. Yeah. It's, in, it's a bit more work to do, but, like, you can say that. Yeah, yeah. For some of them, they might need the extra... TLC, you know, Hundreds. like football terms, like some players need the arm around them. A bit yeah, yeah. Like some people need. So there's different approaches. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. you know, that like, tough love thing doesn't always work. Yeah, no, but yeah, yeah. not, but but in saying that, it doesn't have to be done in a harsh way. Oh, fine. You got to find a happy medium, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah do you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's, it, you know. Um, but then, how do you find that medium if you're not around though? Yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm, I'm a believer of like you know, um, healthy communication. Like me and my brothers for example like my youngest is 20 years younger do you know what I mean different worlds apart that's when you have to tell him to stop the rap cap innit yeah yeah nah but you know he's doing well man about we live in the gutter yeah (laughs) (laughs) and you didn't have butter what are you talking about (laughs) listen man he's 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 doing well with his piano stuff he's got a recital um, and all weekend I'm gonna go um, to that good luck to him yeah man but um, worlds apart yeah he thinks I'm old as fuck yeah do you know what I'm but saying? But in his like, world, you are old, bro. Old, old. Yeah. The guys that he's listening to are, what, 10 years younger than me. So to him, yeah. this nigga's past it. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even asking me for no drip advice. <laughs> like, you got dressed weird. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This, so, guy, this guy's there drinking high juice with his breakfast. You're there drinking peppermint tea. You must think you're washed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. No, it's the yeah. truth. Though. Sometimes business does that with me. It's just like, you're probably old because the other day I was had the phone like my mum like did, to, like this. She was just looking at me like, what's wrong with this guy? Bro? Squinting yeah. in that when you're looking at your phone. But we're more fitted to our parents, bro. Yeah, 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 absolutely, man. So, that, and yeah. like I'm I'm a lot more like, because I've got a, a middle brother, he's 18. So like he looks up to him okay. a lot more in it because, mm-hmm. you know, that, that whole teenage thing. But, I chat to them in it more yeah. so than like shout at them like because I don't that see stuff the point don't work, it, don't, it don't work, don't work man. do you know what I mean like when they're facing troubles like you know my brother's 18 now so there's certain things that he's going through like he's working now so you know Save the youngest game, one because obviously like I'm considerably older than him everything I say he, think, he thinks that like oh, I'm, I'm being too strict or like yeah. you know he doesn't like to ask me anything because he thinks that I'm gonna give him like a, a negative response mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. I just call him out that's all I do you hold him accountable yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> I hear it but I think know. too I think what, what Lewis asked was um, in regards to how can you have a certain stance if you're not around yeah. I think for some of us at the bare minimum that's where it should start yeah. some of us aren't even doing enough of our siblings let alone that bigger conversation how do we help the youths yeah. that we always have every few months Charity yeah. begins at home is a very cliche saying, but it literally it is that. Literally yeah, because everyone does their little bit, then we don't have to do a lot. Literally, it's literally that. And it might it might sound so so simple, but I believe that that's where we should at least try and start first and foremost. But you yeah. said that you've never like worked with young people before. What was the most challenging part? Um, I think the most challenging part was that when you work with young kids. You have to work on yourself too. Mm. So there's a lot of things that like, obviously we all live, we, I'm, I contradict myself a lot. I'm a hypocrite in a lot of things, but I think- We all are. To, but if you're faced with a kid who like, 
you're telling to do something and you bruh like your life is in tatters <laughs> and you're literally doing what you're telling them not to do like it doesn't make any sense i think like it forces you it, well, it forced me to ask myself certain questions and um also yeah it's a lot of learning it's a lot of self-growth and stuff like literally looking inwards and being like mm, yeah do you also it's- put yourself back in the shoes of yourself when you were their age yeah i think what what's more is um you learn i think one thing that i've learned is that obviously they're children in it and that's where it starts and stops for me because i think a lot of us we we expect them to know everything we speak to them as if like you should be doing things right you should be doing this you should know this you should but they're children yeah so like for me i can see where i just feel like my mind is just running like i see what i was and things start to make sense to me in terms of okay so this is the reason why i behave like that or like you hear a kid's story and just like shit like i was going through that too and maybe that's why like i behave this way or i'm emotional about this or this that and the other like i don't know i just feel like being being around kids like it really does make you question a lot of things about yourself Mm. and like when you're that age when you're 14 15 and things are happening around you like you don't even deep how mad it is until you look at it as an adult no, of course. and seeing what flipping 14 15 year olds are what kind of burdens they're carrying like y- how are you coping kind of thing do you know what i mean yeah like, very dreams having bruh? like money proper money money worries like we didn't have like the whole pressure social media but even like we had we had yeah. like, we had we had our stuff but like yeah the constant reminder day yeah. in day out and that no we yeah. didn't have that because yeah. fam not everybody had internet in their house what i know for me dial up to, bro, dial up and you cannot use that dial up if your mum is on the house yeah to her mom family was always in nigeria yeah like, mum was always on the phone do you know what i used to worse, do it was worse than having internet and, and having like, internet raw, like, and having no access to it because fam. because pops is moving militant <laughs> fam. what's mad do you know what i used to do to sign into Bebo and Pixel and all of that stuff, yeah, to beef people on the internet, I had to go. Oh, you Twitter fingers and that back in the day before Bruh, it was Twitter. I was, oh I was God. Bebo fingers. I was MSN. You know, you, you, oh, listen. How are you listen, beefing you on that. MSN? Like, no, I was, I was dumb. Um, I would sign up to the library, the local library. No, they only give you like forty minutes or forty-five minutes. So then, and after you, you can only do that once. So I'd go from one library to the next library to the Pollard's one to the Heath one to the South North. Listen. No, no, <laughs> so so you're you're the, uh, the just doing MSN definition wars. of a troll early in, on. Do you bro, know what I mean? In... Whilst you were doing that, I was lotioning. Bro. <laughs> Come on, you know what? Fifty-five minutes on the phone, hang yeah. up. Hey, listen, I'm gonna call no. you back. Yeah, <laughs> Come no. on. My team was set different. I was useless, man. But yeah, like, we didn't have, we didn't. But then I can, you log off if they, if I didn't have that internet access, bro. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. uh, listen, man. Now yeah, once it's like, shut off, it's like. The real world Listen, and if your man, brothers around you, that's it. Yeah, maybe the I pressures, could... the pressures of social media nowadays is insane. Bruh. The influence, like I've seen how it's influenced like grown ups. Do you know what I'm saying? Let mm. alone young impressionable kids. Like mm. um they're they're young and impressionable in in real life and on social media. Yeah. Like that's that's crazy because like they're looking at everyone's highlight reel and they believe that they have to be but man ain't got that. Yeah. So he's got to find a way to get that. Man, I think once, and the thing with them, probably where they're a bit is like, they'll find a solution. Yeah. Might not be the best one, but they'll find one. Because the, the the parents are not going to get you Balenciagas, bruv. Mm. But the people that they're looking at with those Balenciagas didn't get those Balenciagas. L- like, we will look at artists who get hella free things. We know this. Yeah. Hella free things. Course, and we're trying yeah. to match that for what? Yeah. Also, why are you trying to match a drug dealer? He's. I'm not winning this fight. No. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. But why though? I, we're not. Com- I cannot compete uh, the, with that. The game is rigged, bro. Man is getting the fastest of fast money here, yeah? and you're trying to keep up with him with your little like nine to five money. Yeah. Now, why are you go? Why are you going to school in a Canada goose? Mm. Great question. You got Canada goose? No, I'm just lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they didn't pick it up, but the brandy's talking about bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Brady. But then. 
It's still it's still on the same like price line, it, isn't it? Is, I think it's all relative where we're at because like even in our era, there was man pulling up. I know man that was pulling up to school on pairs, Averexes. I heard that, but like that's, one, that, like, that's like, them, like, man. A different, a different pair of one tens every day. Like Bro. some people had older brothers. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, man yeah, was yeah, doing yeah. bits on that. Like even though we got these youth so young. I remember the. I won't say the gang. I know when, when the gang started from and how old man yeah, were. Yeah, fam. And now man, a man are out of jail now and rapping and people love them. I remember when they first started. The man was 13, 14, 15. Yeah, bro. Keep like them man will pull up, up in no, a, in a fucking badness. like at the school gates in a Jalera ped, bro. Yeah. DNA's and that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, but we knew what they were doing. Yeah. Mm. But like, obviously, certain other dons are gonna look at that and they're gonna want that, but. Yeah. They're gonna ask their parents first, isn't it? Mm. Parents ain't got it. Yeah. Mm. Certain man only certain man had them Scott jackets, bro. Not everyone could have one. True. Mm. True. You know, and they were like what, sixty five? Mm. And back then that was like a bag. That's what it felt like at the time. Yeah, first of all, do you know what? I'm really upset that now that I have money, there are no A Rex jackets about. I want nah, to, bro. Man. Don't do it. No, I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? Like, you saying like, you up, yeah. No. I mean, oh, sorry, let's beat that out. But what I meant was that now that I can afford stuff, no, the things I want. Bread. <laughs> bread. bread, man. No, don't bread. do that. Mm-mm. Stacked up. Got bread, bro. No, no, see no. that. Let's not do that. No, um, man. But legit, like, things that I wanted then that I couldn't afford then don't exist now. Don't exist. Yeah, I was going to say, I went through that, like, mm. once I got my first, like, retail job and I had, like, I was doing extra little bits and that. I OD'd with the trainer thing. Mm. Like some of the perks when I look at them now yeah, they're horrific trainers but because I wanted them back in the day mm-hmm. now I had the money to, I bought everything all at once mm-hmm. yeah. and the most humbling thing was when like, I went through I, went, I moved back home innit? Mm. so like, I've obviously I've come back home with all my stuff here yeah, and I've got like two suitcases and the bare shoes my dad's just looking at me like <laughs> back home because you're on your face <laughs> and all you got to show for it <laughs> is <Trainers>. kicks <laughs> yeah but you're living in a place where like you know you go to the bar and get a 75 p tequila shop I mean, let's not exaggerate. <laughs> Wasn't that cheap, but I hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, listen, it's, it's, it's a it's a larger, larger conversation that maybe I have time for today, but um, mm-hmm. I do want to touch on some stuff. So, obviously, you said you, basically, you started without even realising you were starting this thing. Yeah, no. Once you realised it became a thing, what were the challenges in regards to, like, the legal framework that you had to deal with, like, in terms of becoming legitimate and actually setting up companies, that type of thing. Talk to us a little bit about that. Everything, like, we didn't even set up a company till 2019, bro. Wow. When I told people, this started in 2017, yeah? Who 2017? picked the name? Bro, let me tell you, I have not got a creative brain in my head. We was called The Project, bro. Like, we... <laughs> no, you, you're listening to... <laughs> she's listening <laughs> to no, Mob Deep. <laughs> <it's> too, much, <laughs> too much RSGs, bro. Listen, the Project. Listen, listen, if you... If the, you the Jets. <laughs> bro, our logo From was Queensbridge. Like a mm. logo was like a P or something. Bro, zero creativity. Do you know, I was, we was winging it, bro. I love that, though. We was winging it. And, and bear in mind, yeah, I'm just starting up my, like, full accounting career at that time as well. Mm. So I'm working crazy exams, hours. super busy. Yeah, like, mm. I hadn't even finished my ACCA exams at that time. Like, I was do, I was going through a lot. But the thing is, what, I just didn't want to not do this. Like, you want to let ma- them down, made, basically. When I told you, okay, so, like, I won't answer your question, but, it will make sense when I add context to it. No, yeah. go for it. I'll stay when it's just, yeah, let's just yeah. talk freely. Yeah, you're the pro in this. So yeah, you'll get us back I mean, on track. Right. But with Reach Out, yeah, um, we took those kids to that show called, we said that you can't be a, lo- a one-off thing. Mm. Um, the school wasn't really, give- the school that we went to, they weren't really giving us the space to kind of learn and grow. Because like I said, I was winging it. Michaela's a teacher, so she understands how to work with kids and that. But I we still needed to un- really figure out what this was. I mean, yeah. we wanted that space to do that and they didn't provide that. So in the interim of us trying to find out where we're going to go to, what we're going to do, um, uh, one of my, be- when I say best friends, like, I mean, brother, like my brother, like he literally, when I was younger, like he, comp- he saved my life. Like I, I literally reference him every single time. Like when I got kicked out of school, year 11, I was out doing dumb shit, getting involved in dumb fights doing crazy uh, stuff top it's, bad breed yeah no let's not do that but like <laughs> he literally banned me from chilling in Streatham made sure when I got into another school I got kicked out in year 11 yeah Um, and the other girls I got kicked out with they went centre I went centre one day and it was it was hell like it, I knew I was smart in it 
and you're saying that's the space this, for this, me. scared straight program you got there. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, I, I'm good. not that bad. Mm. You, I didn't. That's the thing. I didn't, that's one of the things. <laughs> one day and I'm out, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I didn't need to. Be, I wanted to be bad. Yeah. I didn't need to be. Yeah. I didn't need to be. I wanted to be like a household name for Jesus fighting. Jesus Christ. No, it's jobless. I can admit it now. Like it was jobless. I wanted <laughs> for to be fighting bad. for no reason. What though. fight club and that? No, for no reason. What's the first rule of Just fight linking club? up. <laughs> Just linking up and fighting in that. Com- when I say straight, I'm on Twitter. Like, Listen, she was she was trolling, yeah, on net, and she was like, "Yeah, pull up, <laughs> link up," and she was actually pulling up. You're not. She's actually pulling I up. I don't mind the trolls that actually pull up. Cool, cool, cool. No, She's I actually pulling up. That. Can we not put what you don't but want them you, to finish me? No, but you, you want you, you, you just want said your it. Kids you work with to know that you yeah, know I, was, I came from yeah, this listen. you too can be like me yeah. <laughs> what telling people no, this, in my 20s come shit come in there no 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 this, this, this is what the other side looks like listen you need to be the ambassador of what you're doing innit yeah yeah you please let's walk with God on this point okay cool cool we we'll walk <laughs> nah, with God yeah, you're talking about your brother that saved your life because yeah. you were out here fighting in straight yeah. and common he yeah he um said nah you're not coming to chill with us on the block let his cousin and all of them not know. Nah, Lil's is smart. Let her. She says he's coming up. She mm. just got into another school, a racist school at that. Um, and let her fo- like let her focus, kind of thing. Yeah. When we, you know, in year eleven, when they let you go off for three weeks or however many weeks yeah. to study, and then you come and you do your exams. Had me in library every day. This guy, he's same age as me, you know, same age as me. Literally over overlooked my entire life at that moment, and I needed it at that time. That's good. That's amazing. Um, someone I've known since I was like nine, ten. Yeah. So anyway, literally every moment, every big moment in my life, like I can pinpoint like him being there right. or saving me, or like even with like family issues and stuff, like he would make sure that I was good. Um. So yeah, in that interim of um us trying to find a school to kind of settle in. Mm. He passed away in a car accident. Yes, in case. Right. And two weeks after that, I had to meet the new school, these lot. Okay. Um. And I literally, when he when he passed, like, I never left my room. Like I, 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 I feel like at that time I didn't I didn't know how to mourn anyone. Mm. But I appreciated that I had entered into this obligation of this project this thing this program that i'm trying to build is real and there's kids on the other side of that that's yeah. the only thing that got me out of my room i never left my room never left my room until michaela was like the school's asked us to come down on this date cool all right i'll turn up i don't even think i was even pr- I, I was present but i don't think i was like fully there mm. but then i make meet these kids and they literally remind me of this guy now i'm not going to say that my friend made the best choices even though he had me on the right path, I have a lot of friends who didn't do what they were telling me to do. But I feel like for me, he made sure that I was good, but I can't pinpoint someone that was doing that for them. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Oh God, why God? No, take your time, man. Take your time. My eyes sweat from time to time as well, you know? Yeah, no, it's jarring, man. But yeah, so like for me, it's like, so if someone was telling them to, Focus GCSE wise or being in and library when we're studying for GCSEs, like maybe some of them won't be in jail or doing what they're doing, kind of thing. So then I can't. I knew he was going to cry anyway, so I've got your tissue. Oh, so thank you. you. Um, but if not, I sneeze now, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite Kleenex, but you know. It will yeah, do. Some <laughs> budget brand, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 that's, that's that's the real deal. Mid cry, yeah. Damn. Mid mid pain. She still has to give me a little shot. <laughs> she's, like, she, she's like, uh. I'll be honest. I was at my mom's house earlier. I'll just pick these up because <laughs> like I'm not gonna be caught short on public uh, transport, sniveling yeah. in that. You can't even sneeze and cough. Damn. So yeah, so let me have to know yeah, all these. Yeah, so. it's cold out in these streets oh, yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah, it's peak, isn't it? So, yeah. so you're saying so, so someone was looking out for you, but they yeah. didn't. You don't know if they I had anyone I looking out for them. I think everyone needs someone that sees the value in them as a kid. Bruh. And there's a lot that don't. But what's so sad about that is that those people themselves, it's like whatever's happening in their life, they can't necessarily get out of that rut. Yeah. But they see that something in you, and because you had that reference a lot, especially in rap, that all oh, like there was a big homie in the hood, and they're like, okay, no, you focus on school. Or mm. You're gonna Bruh. be the athlete. You're gonna be this you're person. Yeah. 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 Like, but the, what's mad is these are people that are my age. We're in the same year. We're yeah. facing the same GCSEs. You know. Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So why why are you able to put that into me and 
not not that you're not putting it into yourself but like you're not seeing the value in your in yourself or you've got no one above you like but we had no like we were figuring shit out them days like for real for real and when i think back in, in in terms of like the things that a lot of us were going through at home or whatever like it was inevitable to the, what ha- what ended up happening is flipping inevitable yeah and do you know what the thing is is that like looking back at those times yeah that's the time you spend the most with your friends that's the time where you can get the best character analysis from your friends mm. because you spend so much time with them like every single day in our adult life bro I spend time with you once a week cheers do you know what I'm saying like <laughs> nah wait, wait, I've heard you nigga full of shit you was out with me three times last week bro we was out on Wednesday yeah, yeah. we was I out on that. Friday we was I out on that. Saturday chill chill bro, chill I've seen this nigga like chill chill like eight relax, times relax, in relax. four days bro <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Yeah, but re- that, yeah but that's a reason no bro <laughs> that's a reason times but my point is is that like you have no point <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is, is that I'm, I'm not playing. spending time with you every day for we six, even, seven we even hours a like, day. Do you know what I mean? You get home, you drop your bag and you're with the man then playing, you're in a cage or you're at youth club. You're just with yeah. the man then So like, what I'm saying like, is that, that there's going to be one person that is going to recognize that like Lillian's smart. Yeah. Like they recognize that because a lot of us see outside of ourselves, especially when we're around people, innit? Facts, yeah we may not necessarily give ourselves the big ups as much as that we'll root for a friend, didn't it? So yeah. it's the same premise. Yeah, He's seeing that in Lillian and he's like, listen, you can go on and do great things. Mm. How you think is just mad. Like, how did you come up with that? How did you come up with that? Mm. You've got friends like that. Yeah, You know, some will hold it in. They won't say it. And then there's going to be some that are vocal about it. And they're God's friends, isn't it? So it's, just, it's just obviously like, I can hear it verbalize. It's hard to kind of like, rationalize that person can see that for you yeah but for whatever reason either can't see it for themselves or hasn't got someone doing the same job for them that's why it's probably hard when oh, she's sitting there talking about it, it's difficult because it's like bro you're telling me to do this fucking do the same thing as well because i love you the same way you love me mm. Mm. you know so it's 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 a, it's a proper hard thing to deal with when you like because i think about people that from when we up and i'm like i wonder where my man is now yeah mm. you know and some sometimes those things get answered you know Unfortunately, you see something in South London press, and then you're like, okay, cool, that's where my man is. Or sometimes someone pops mm. up and be like, oh, this person's the new crypto don of mm. the UK. It's like, oh, I went to school with my man. He's yeah. looking stuff like, rah, that, oh, sick. Even as an adult, oh, there's still another level that I can go to because that person came from the same community as I did. You know, so yeah, it, it's probably so. You're talking about so, was rest in peace to um to your bro that was that was that was there for you. You said you didn't leave your room. Unless it was for this, I mean, Kayla shouted you and said, "Okay, the school wants us to do this." Yeah, yeah. Talk us through that next stage in regards to the chat project. So we meet these kids, and I was like, "Raw, like, especially him reminds me of him." Okay. Proper reminded me of him, so I was like, "Okay, cool." Like, and I think that was the f- uh, after I met them kids, I went straight to my car and I started crying because so I was just like, "Shit, this is him. Like, this is this is Michael, and this is what he wanted. This he want he wants." Like, you see how you just said, like, uh, um, he could have been telling me to do GCSEs. I don't think I even shut up back and said, like, why aren't you doing this yourself? Yeah. So I just told myself from that day, like, I'm I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to pour love into these boys the same way he poured love into me. And I wish that someone poured love into him and his yeah. cousins and his friends. Because, bro, like, so cool. We, we agreed to be at this school, have these kids. We're winging it. There's no actual program structure. Just vibes. Vibes, bro. Mm. Vibes, and I know I've got a network. Okay. I know I've got a strong network. I know that I can make shit happen. And I also know, like, I know I can help. In my head, it made sense. That's but enough. There was, I had nothing, though. I had nothing to show for it. So bear in mind, I don't know nothing, so... I'm looking for someone to mentor me so that I can like can guide me in that kind of in that's in this realm. I don't I don't have I didn't do social work, youth, none of that. Like I didn't know nothing. I genuinely like I and I'm honest in that that I needed help. Right. Um. I got connected to someone. Um. In in that charity realm, and I think maybe my ideas sounded very far fetched to him, mm. to where he just spoke down to me 
spoke down to me, made in my head. I was, I looked at Michaela and I was just like, fam, I don't know if I'm going crazy. Like, are we supposed to do this? Like, because I'm coming to you, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing. I don't know what reports I'm supposed to have. I don't know what it means to keep data or none of that. And what were the type of things that you were saying? I, um, I was telling him that, you know, um, I know so-and-so music artists, we can get them to this concert or we can have them come into the school or um, well, I currently work at PwC so I can try and look in like the corporate world and try and look for work experience. Um, so the tangible things tri- that you can actually do. Yeah, mm. like, but things that in my head, like I know I have this network, but if you don't know me, you don't know Stormzy you don't know none of these people that's kind of boys are coming in hey listen bro yeah like I've got this, this I've been running for two days yeah yeah you get, yeah, yeah I so can bring you Michael Jackson yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you get now looking back like I, I if you don't know me it's gonna sound it's gonna sound mad in it yeah. but even at that though the reason why that bothered me is because if someone's coming to you in a vulnerable state and you shut them down, reach out wouldn't it could not exist because I could have yeah. just been like, maybe I am chatting shit, maybe this ain't real because this is not my this is not my lane. You're yeah. you're in the lane. You're telling me that you don't know what you do. You don't know this. You're, oh, you haven't got that. You haven't got that, bro. I just told you I ain't got it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So t- I didn't even have a DBS. To... Wow, I didn't have a DBS. I never had a. D- I never had a reason to have a DBS. You don't need it to be an accountant. Yeah, you feel me. So I'm coming to you. You've not guided me. Fine, cool, whatever. I just turned to Michaela. I was like, "This ain't the first time it's happened." I got kicked out of school. Miss Ongaro told me I was either gonna be and end up in jail or pregnant. I'm none of those things. So amen. I'm, I'm going to. In my head, I did say like, "I'm gonna. I'll show you. It's fine. I'll yeah. show you." But so did you put him on your mood board in the house just with darts though? Like you throw right, darts. Listen, me. I'm a petty bitch. In okay. my head, I, to this day, I'll ne- I'll never work with him, and yeah. he's come back. Come back you're, he's seen, he's seen what you're all the youths nah, you're the uh, person that all the youths um are talking about what do you mean like oh yeah my teacher told me that i'll never amount to anything but yeah, not but all of you like, niggas like the t- their teacher nah, said that bear, bear, bear like, no no but no for, even for the guys the teacher said it you was disrupting in the class bro <laughs> <laughs> like, let's, bands, nah, bands, bands, no, let's, bands, let's have it right yeah no, 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 no. L- let's go let's go law averages yeah no, no. i have 30 kids in the class yeah no. there's one person disrupting everyone you are a failure. <laughs> <laughs> you will never make no, it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need, I need you, Van, bad apple. Get out, Fam, man. <laughs> yeah. No, but what, yeah. What, no, no, no. Bro, no, no, because no. like all teachers have an objective, bro. Yeah. Like my appraisal needs to be popping, yeah. innit? And if yeah. I can get rid of this. I've got an so objective to reach. So then it's about the kids then. It's about, no, but see, it's, this is my it's problem. No, no, no you can't I, do that. I want to no, get no. my class to a point, yeah, where everyone is engaged. Mm. Do they really though? Because if, you, if you've if you highlighted that bad apple, in you doing that, you're defining who that person's gonna be. Mm. It's why when I when 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 I got these kids, and obviously we've got a criteria in terms of the kids that we want. Yeah. Fine, but I'm not gonna tell a kid they're a bad kid. I'm not gonna tell them you're this, you're that. You're it sticks with you, you know. Yeah. It but then with you know that will reference them and say, oh, um, I, I I did it to show my teacher. Maybe they did you a favor. They gave you the motivation. No, 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 no. no. I'm just being no, double no, advocate no. here. No, you're not gonna. Get, first, what we're not gonna do is give Miss Angaro that because she does not deserve that. One, you've referenced two, her twice. Mm. Shout out to her. No, 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 no. Do you know what though? I will, I will say, like, because I got kicked out September 30th. You remember the right. first? Yeah, because bro, that's was... your first tattoo, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Prayer has a rosary actually gonna beads. Do it, though. September thirtieth. I, I, I should. I should. I should. Um, uh, from from Lara Trait and you went um, Lara Trait. Yeah. Oh, we we'll talk after. Whoa, no, whoa, no. Whoa. Let's talk wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm, let's talk now. I'm, you got to school I'm, me on the South I'm, London I'm schools, bro. No, like, what is this? Keep out like, of this. Let's okay, talk all now. All I said was I went. I went to Thomas Apostle, wasn't it? Uh. So it wasn't unfamiliar to see Notre Dame girls outside the school. Lara Trait. Look at the names of these schools, and you are unruly. Notre Dame, babe, bro. Lara Trait, Roman Catholic school. I can't lie to you. All the, all the Roman Catholic school had the heathens. Yeah. I can't lie to you. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Let's pause there for a second. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, nah. Um, obviously, it was it was a one of my biggest regrets. Yeah. Lawyer awful, Michael, awful, 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 awful fight. Oh, sorry. An awful incident took place. Yeah. And obviously, that's what fueled her to make that comment to me. At, yeah. I was 15 at the time. Um... So like I understand like it was a, it was a really serious incident. So like I I fully hear her frustration frust- uh, her frustration and all of that. But I think for me her words stuck with me because bro I've just been kicked out year eleven and I got she says I know I'm not dumb. 
Mm. Like, and it's true at that time period. The way they the way they treat you is like if you don't focus, like your whole life is finished. So and when you get to uni, man are they man are they fresh on the wing with no G shit speech. Bruh. And you're like, brother, how are we in the same place? <laughs> no, 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 that's exactly how I felt when I walked into centre. I said, but, but, I, but I was no. working hard, yeah, and then no. they somehow made it through clearing and they're seeing a Donny that just no. <laughs> no, my, my, off the roads no, like, no, at no, uni. No, and you're, like, huh? one. you're a uni house, you're raving in that. You look to your right, yeah, there's a Donny in like head to toe Gucci in that. Well, you go uni, yeah, man. Oh my God, bro. What are you doing there, bro? <laughs> You are dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> with, the, with the ski goggles. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> oh shit. My wet days are done. Nah, that mm. stuff, it sticks with you. It stuck with me. Yeah. So, like, my whole. When I got into a school, I went to Car Short and Girls, and it was. I went from being in a school where my class had like one or two white girls to me being the only black girl in my uh. class. Bruh, all these girls smoking in the playground. They were sexing oh. from young. Oh, mm. Bear in mind, I'm coming from a school where we used to call people <laughs> junges and skets for sexing. Oh, so you little slut shaming, and now you're on, oh, yeah, now you're on Twitter telling us off. Fully, 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 fully. It was bad. It was bad. But that was yeah. it. You know what it means to be yeah. on a junge. That was it to Bro, me now. Bro, that word is horrible, you know. Even now, it's like, oh, big man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear that word and I'm like, wow, serious. I used to love that word. I'm oh, serious. Yeah. Junge. I don't even know where it came from. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Nah, it makes sense. How? Of, Where's it from? Of what what's, they're describing. What's the origin? Sense. I don't know. It's one of those ones that like, once you hear it, it makes sense. It makes sense. There's Junge. nothing. That's why the word sticks. Like, yeah. it wouldn't have stuck if yeah. it didn't make sense. Junge. I, I've said it bare times already. Yeah. Sorry. No, I so they, so they, these kids were smoking on the playground. On the playground, Being talking skets. about all of the oh god, <laughs> doing That's all kinds said. of things. No, but it was a, it was a shift for me. It was mm. a complete shift for me going car short and girls. Complete shift. And I only, I was only allowed in there. The head teacher said, oh, obviously because of my grades and that. But she said, if you fight anyone, that's it. You're wait. out. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where you Kimbo slice out <laughs> in the street? Because. <laughs> <laughs> How you're known for fighting like this? I don't understand. This, this, this hey, what's going, going on? The way I envisioned. <laughs> Man, do you know what? Your, your reputation precedes you, bro. No. No. Man gave you an ultimatum if you're caught fighting. That means you're known for fighting. Like I heard about you still. Yeah, mm. but pointless. It's also yeah. funny that they saw her grades. Like you know what? She can help like raise our grade average. <laughs> 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 bro. But if you have one indiscretion, you're done for. Yeah, but let me tell you what those indiscretions were, though. You black monkey. Someone's mum driving past in the car calling me black this, black that, black Someone's this. Someone's mum? Mum, bro. I'm t- it was so bad. I've never Range been Rover called mums. black anything. You didn't even know you was black? Bro, <laughs> gee, I'm, just from, I'm just from Croydon. Mm. Yeah. Man, from listen, the ends. Racism, I never knew that that thing, I didn't, I knew it was there, but I'd, I'd never experienced yeah. it. To come to a school, sorry, I keep no, messing up this mic. No, I'm gonna, gonna, yeah, so. No, no, you can't do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Falls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lily is so unintentionally funny. It's hilarious, bro. I love anyway, it. Anyway, so um, so you're getting racially abused by different mothers and mothers of people that are in my class who know. In my head, I'm like, I know I can. I can, rush, I can rap you in it. Like I can just one weekend. Like yeah. I don't need to be in school uniform. Mm. Do you just know what I mean? Slipping in that. But honestly, for me, <laughs> if, I, I'll never. I'll never. No, no, no. Okay, let's let's cut. Let's beat that. No, part. your no. your kids need to know that you have you a are on past. job. No, no, no. Let's that's not what I came she, in. She <laughs> one weekend where she just wraps up all the mums. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the episode on power? The ghost when ghost wraps up nine dons. Yeah, he got rid of, got rid of the whole operation. And then, and, he, and, he, and he found my man Ruiz and he sent him away. You know, please. <laughs> uh, you see, you actually, you, you see, you actually, she's Tariq. You already sent Tariq to choke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys alright? <laughs> Are you guys actually alright? They said that's a choke and then she locked down the whole school. <laughs> Listen. That's hilarious. But yeah, nah, that's funny um, still. In my head, I was just thinking, that day I spent in centre where I'm mm. with dancers, bro, like... That's pure... not nice. They have potential to you. No, yeah. do you know what it is, man? Nah. At that age, I remember, no, no. Like, do you know what I liked about our, our time? You're like, was, I'm better than no, this. No, was like, man, we didn't... We didn't get no thrill out of, like, not performing. As much as the badness was, was, was mm. a, a big mm. thing, bro, you didn't want to be the youth that, like... Didn't get an uh, uh, you got like a B or C. Man would laugh at the man, yeah, man. The as much as like jokes. yeah, like, those things were they were very prevalent. Man was bro, yeah, school, back at home like a, a B one enough, bro. And you're even an A. Like, your brother gets an A, yeah, and you come in there. And man was man was tearing into you. like how not like, people we tear each other for like oh, not getting girls or drip. It, 
the grades was mm. was at the forefront, and I, mm. and I, I still like that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when I say like this is not where I'm supposed to be, it was a youth club, bro. Yeah. They weren't being taught. Yeah, they were not being taught. So, but these are the, these are the forgotten children. Remember the yeah. Yeah. lyric about uh, oh, you're you're bad until you go inside. That too. you want to come uh, out. Cult, that, that like I don't want to be here. Yeah, yeah. That's the only reason I didn't do nothing. But a large, a large population, a large percentage of people that end up in jail have been to like a center or. Yeah, it, um, it's the pipeline that they all talk pe- about. What's it? People throw you know whatever they yeah, call yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. they're the kids that you have to take lunch at a different time. You start at a different time. You finish at a different yeah, time. Yeah. It's literally prison, bro. Fucking yeah, hell! Yeah. Like the moment that you fucking um, get sent to somewhere that you don't want to be, that's when self-preservation comes into play. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Mad, but it's yeah. like I'm better than this. Oh, now you're motivational, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> scared straight, bro. Bruh, <laughs> differently. So you 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 dodge the bullet with center. Yeah, you're at Carl Short. It's like it's like okay, cool. So we go from predominantly black school to now you're a minority. Minority in dealing a... with racial abuse. Mm-hmm. How did you? Obviously, we alluded to the jokey quick ma- mash them up on the weekend. Obviously, that didn't happen. Mm. Yeah, Just yeah. for the you know for the record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah please, occur. please, for the record. How did you cope being in that space where you was an other? Um, there were other black kids there, other other black students that were yeah. there, and like, um, even in like different years, so we all used to chill together. Okay. So like, so girls, even year years, seven, you can chill with year eleven. Okay, maybe black. not, but year nine, year yeah. nine, year ten, and my year, like we all all the black lot chilled together, mm. which is different from my from Lara Trait because we was beefing the years below. <laughs> Like we was scrapping the years below in Ballum, oh in Brixton Hill. Like it was. It's no, dumb. please don't tell me you've had a fight in every part Bruh, of South West like, London. The whole network. Uh, Two in Ballum, Streatham. <laughs> <Let's laughs> please, but for real, like it was. It was a complete shift. But I only coped because of my friend Michael. Wow. My friend Michael. Um, he told me not allowed to fight. You're in a school now, and I, bear in mind, I started the school in December, so I couldn't even do the mocks. So I had I had six months to like redo my like to learn my GCSEs different maths um uh what do they call it AQA, AQA. different so was yeah. a different, example when you different the example when you different exam boards okay, right. um I couldn't take history because it was a complete di- completely different um they would want to talk you about slavery anyway so it's fine uh, do you get so yeah, I, I felt no way but like I had six months to literally gather myself and get my GCSEs and I tell you that boy kept me on track Sure, kept me him, on man. track because that's when I really like he showed me you don't need to be but why are you performing you don't need to do this you yeah. don't like you're good. You don't. But I like that, though, man. Why you are you acting up? You're not a bad man. Focus, yeah, man. Mm. Like you don't have to do this. I wanted to. I wanted to be notorious, and he was, he saw through that. Obviously, he understood what was going on at home or whatever, whatever. Of course, yeah. So pro- he genuinely provided me that cushion. Do you know what I mean? And I, he, I, countless times he picked me up. Countless times. Countless times. Countless times. Like it's mad. So he, I, I genuinely like put me getting through class short and girls on him and not touching anyone. Yeah not touching anyone um but for me for gcse's i focused on what miss hungara was telling me and I, it's like i wanted to prove her wrong mm. like but she don't care i'm nothing do you know what i mean like i'm, I'm not like a i'm not someone that's going to stick in her mind for years and years and years why is she sticking in mind why am i doing gcse's for her mm. it's got nothing to do with her it's all about do you know what i mean it's yeah. for myself yeah and for my future so as much as i had that guy that did me wrong for reach out in my head that mm, I don't need to show him nothing. You got nothing to prove I'm to him. I'm nothing, nothing to prove to him. Yeah. If I'm, if I want to do it, just put your heart and your soul into it and achieve it. Yeah. I'm inconsequential to this guy's life. Like he's not. So he's still doing what he's doing. So what's the next step after? Obviously, so we linked it with Miss Angara and mm-hmm. this guy that yeah. kind of like shit on your plans when you came like really green. I need help. I need mentorship. After you go back and realize, okay, well, this guy's kind of like not helping me. What do you do next? In regards to reach out. The internet is a great thing, boy. Um, so literally all the like reports or all of these things that I needed to draft up or keep track of, internet helped me. Um, again, Twitter again, um, Manny, who's a director of Reach Out Now. Okay. Shout out to Manny. Shout out to Manny. Shout out to me. He's going to hate that I'm going to say this though. But, so I used to follow him from Twitter from back in, back in, back, 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 back in the days when he used to rap in it. <laughs> mm. So I could tell his name was Crazy Craze in it. Okay. But he completely flipped his was, life. Was he a decent rapper? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a fan. I was a fan of him. Okay, that's okay. Um, but he completely flipped. Because if you want, I was gonna shit on them bars. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> nah, um, big up Manny. Um, Shout out to Manny, love that man. I saw a blog that he posted about um, exclusions for black boys. Okay. So I was like, no, I know this face because it's the same bareface Emmanuel. I didn't know that was his name kind of thing. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I reached out to him and we just started chopping it up. And imagine he's same year as me. He's gone into teaching or whatever and he's provided me the guidance that I needed. Every single thing, um, even the way to talk, the certain words to use. Like I didn't know none of this stuff. This guy's guiding me. Mm. I've never met him. Mm. Never met him. First time I meet him is sports day. I hold a sports day for the kids 2018. I think I've seen the photos from that. Yeah, yeah. 2018. Some of my age mates were getting dusted by 14 year olds. Bro. Mad. <laughs> were you there for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, was dusting out the OGs, innit? I love that, man. Wait, was I? Yes, you were. Just, just yeah. carry man. Make, make my story sound good. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be modest in that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, well, was I? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. claiming that. He guided me through everything. Um, so, obviously, we asked him to join. And I think even being around these guys, like, bro, me and Michaela are two black women. So, th- we can't give these kids everything that they need. Are you and I think strong, you know, male representation around 100, there. 100, mm. 100. So, I just made it my duty to surround them with that and surround them with people who are gonna aren't afraid to like love them openly yeah and because i think the stuff that we see on ends is not bro it's mad you know Mm. what they're seeing every day and a lot of them don't have like the father figures at home yeah our normal isn't normal like if he he tells you on my pop thing around that's not abnormal Mm. almost to the point that i'm probably lying and everyone's not got a dad type of thing you start it's just yeah yeah or you've got a cousin older brother in jail or this is happening that's happening it's like you know it's It's light but it's not light yeah that time is because of like our coping mechanism and stuff isn't it? Yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's really not light in it so but because yeah. we were saying earlier it's because we're on the other side of it as adults and now like mm-hmm. you start looking like wow this is proper mad bro yeah do you remember you remember you put, you put that video of the, the little youths in your block um drinking lean and that yeah bro what? yeah that is crazy you used to drinking lean donny couldn't hack it ends up throwing up outside my house and i'm like when you're sober t- you yeah, clean this up clean this up mm-hmm. Not even when you sober up, right put them down over there <laughs> and you two niggas clean up. Mm. <laughs> I hear it though, man. Mm. I hear it. Of all the houses on my block, my house. <laughs> you took it personal. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, But yeah, like, you know, things like that. That's mad. So Manu Day was a, was a good support. Who else have you, who else were you able to get on board in regards to like black men? helping re- reach out project whether that's like being on board fully mm. or just stepping in for a function event oh uh, bro when i tell you my my friends are amazing so marcus big up marcus never used to like him from social media I never used so to they like all him. say <laughs> no I never, for, for, we never, it was it was both ways though he's gonna say it was one when way when i see you we're gonna fight <laughs> bro but do you know what it is i put out a tweet and i said look guys if i if i do a sports day if i organize a sports day for like my kids would you come and play ball with them like for the day kind of thing like mm. i'll set up everything whatever whatever um would you not do it marcus reached out and i was just like oh, i don't really like this like, but it's not about me she's like oh you it's know what these kids me. can play with themselves it is like <laughs> whatever but no nah, i was like okay cool it's nice that these lot are reaching out and obviously i was yeah. gonna have the right things in place in terms of safety safeguarding all of that stuff um but i'm not kicking ball with these sheets right yeah. like no no way um so yeah, Marcus Holland, and I, when I tell you to this day, like he is there on ground, whether it's f- for police stuff, whether it's to take these lot to the gym, whether it's to just to settle certain home disputes, he's there. Like he's developed a f- bond with them, bro. He's like he's their favorite. Like he's their old. He's their he's their favorite. Mm. That's, That's why true. I hate his guts. Yeah, he's their favorite. My man's smiling so much through the mask. I see his cheeks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah legit like he is their favorite like um but he's present he's there and he genuinely loves these lot like i remember like the first year marcus started coming out with us um i think we were saying bye or something and it was just like no let's have a hug like hugged all of them yeah. and i was just like I, oh, I cry for everything obviously but like it was just no i don't know it was just normal but he was like, no, I'm going to show you a lot. Like, my, I've got you. And mm. like, I love you. Bye. Give me a hug. See you later. He went around to every kid. Like, legit. Like, God will bless that guy. God will bless him. That's dope. Um, 
because no, no none of us like we don't get paid for this this is stuff that they're doing in their spare time everyone's got a nine to five do you know what i mean so yeah it's still just a passion project essentially Bruh, just... legit like but all of us share the same passion because i think although we're all different and we're all from we've got similar stories we're all from different walks of life yes but we get it do you know what yeah. i mean i've never had to explain what reach out is to any of these guys that's good man. none of them another one anthony tony supreme god will bless him he nodded his head <laughs> yep. yeah that's my guy. guy man solid guy yeah solid guy solid I can't say it enough. He is. Nah, he... he um, How solid? Solid? <laughs> nah, he's solid, man. He bust me on a gig the other day. I was yeah. with him. I was out with him at a gig. Um, oh. Yeah. Super great guy. We're going to get him on anyway. No, you have to. Uh, he he, uh, he he speaks well. Like, this stuff, talking about reach out, I don't do it because I cry every time. But, like, he knows... Uh, God will bless him. Like, he... I can't even put... Like, when I say, yeah, uh, these guys... Is what you said I, earlier just about being present on the ground bro, being available no questions asked bro and we've all got shit going on yeah we've all got shit going on it takes like a um a level of like commitment to do this integrity as well mm. like you have to know what you're doing it for and that's what um drives your consistency mm-hmm. mm. like you can't you can't let these kids down that's like cool. once you once you fully committed like like you said you know, people are coming in and out of, of their lives constantly, like, and you are essentially there to provide something that is not of that. Mm-hmm. And if you've got these guys that are, like, agreeing with everything that you're doing and they're showing up for you time and time again, like, it's it's their thing too. It fully is. But guys, you lot know I'm in Birmingham, innit? Yeah. So there'll t- be times... I want two one in that. Uh, yeah, big up Birmingham. <laughs> Broom. Um, <laughs> there'll be times certain emergencies whether it's police or anything family wise i can't go i'm in birmingham yeah I'm 120 miles away pick up the phone call marcus he's there marcus has sat in police station for 12 12 plus hours literally better no man the most bruh with no communication no no not knowing how long he has to stay there for but he's not leaving the, he's not leaving these kids in there i love that not leaving them in there do you know what i mean we've got parent. we've got kids whose parents aren't going to can't physically do they got other kids mm. or they're not or they're fed up or they don't want to do you know what I mean? but we're there do you know what i mean so it really takes a community a village but fam i can't i'm genuinely i'm legit in birmingham legit in, in birmingham. case anybody thought she was faking and she's down the road like, <laughs> like for real <laughs> she's, she's, like, she's really in birmingham now. yeah you gotta start posting your location and the and car and them done yeah. done them uh, all day, <laughs> big <up> miss. <laughs> for real so like when i say that these guys step in and are very much present and I feel like the f- kids feel it you feel it yeah yeah like god will bless them we've got, I've got a strong team strong team of five Michaela's in China she's been in China for coming to two years now all the all all the stuff behind the scenes planning email everything like everyone's serving their purpose but for us it was it was important for us to put them in front of black men that are going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I the just, last thing you want is a black man to be in, to be there for families and cut out. Bro, I can't do it. I, I wouldn't allow it. When I say I'm so unreasonable when it comes to these lot, like in terms of their, their safety, their mental, their everything. If you're any small hint of harm, I'm unreasonable. Unreasonable. You've got to be though. Unreasonable. So I wouldn't, I, I would never put them in front of, people that I know that I'm not going to love them the way they need to be loved yeah, or care for them the way that they need it. Yeah. Because I've we've all got friends that aren't, do you know what I mean? The, you're not stepping foot anywhere near each other mm, or yeah. any of my kids. And there's, there, there's something to be said about that type of safeguarding because um, it's sad to say, but it's a luxury to not many. Like the care and, you know, like your your protection over them, like coming from a genuine place. Yeah like it's scarce mm. in a lot of our communities what's been the so you started ramming in 20 2017 2017 what have been some of the biggest highlights since you've started working with these young boys highlights in terms of just like experiences <coughs> you've been able to open their eyes to people that, that may have met like levels you've gone to as a a charity, a yeah. group of people that help in, in the community. Yeah. 
Um, I'd say the support from our own okay. rattles me all the time. You know, it, it hits me different because it's it's from people that they get it. They don't ask questions. Yeah, they understand it. They see it, and they want to support it. So even having people like um like the first sports day I threw for, for these lot, um Stormzy was supposed to be in Wimbledon. Okay. It was the final that day, and he w- like the message that I got was that he's not he can't come like he's got to do that. This guy pulled up, didn't care, didn't give a toss, came down, Love that. saw all of these lot. <clears throat> like and this is someone that's from my area. Do you know what I mean? Um, even someone like Bianca giving us tickets. That's a highlight for me because she didn't know me from nowhere. Yeah. We're not even from the same area. She's from Peckham. Mm. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? What? You guys. Falls his bits. <laughs> not even from. Stop doing that to me, bro. It's someone falls. Like, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> 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 don't. Do not do that, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. <laughs> but yeah, stuff like that. Even having um, uh, the support that we get now from Ian Wright. Mm. That one rattles me to this day because the day he phoned me, <coughs> I, was, I started shouting. I was like, I was screaming because he was like, "Oh, it's Ian." I was like, "No, it's not." That's like, cold. Oh, it's me. I can't be anybody else. And I started screaming. What type like, of screaming were you doing? No, I was the the what's that Ronaldo? Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. You know, like literally, like for real, for real. <laughs> but those connections come from people that support online. Vuj is the person that put Ian to us. I love that, bro. I've the, not met Vuj a day in my life. I've not met Vuj a day in my life. A day in my That's life. That's sick. Fam. Everything, everything that we've... When I tell you, yeah, like winging it... Oh, I'm wing, Saying the word winging it is downplaying it, you know? Yeah. We genuinely started with nothing. not a, Our own money. We were paying for stuff. Paying for food. Paying for everything. Paying for everything. Do you know what I mean? To have people ask for, like, PayPal. They want to donate. Yeah. Or they want to set up a direct debit for us. Like, that, to me, is mad. It's mad. No questions asked. But it also shows that, like, we can all do work in various ways. Hundred. Everyone isn't gonna have the time, innit? Hundred. Get this bread, don't it? Bro. If I'm if I'm not around, I'm not available. Yeah. 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 And other people maybe don't have the money at the time, but putting in a call for you might be the support. Um, as little as a retweet, which seems very minimal, <coughs> but mm-hmm. that helps your visibility. Mate. Referencing your the work you do in the right rooms, you know. So Bro. people at least have a okay, cool. I don't really know too many people that do so. Because when I was growing up, I remember, um, I think the lady might be based in Campbell. I think it was called Kids Company. Like, mm. like I didn't know many charities or people that were doing yeah, work that yeah. like, had some, uh, aside from local council with mm. regards to like, youth clubs, mm-hmm. but separate entities, at least I knew that p- that person, what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. I remember bridging my way from home and that's where they were for a little mm. bit. And that's the only reason why I knew of these people and what they were doing. I don't know what really, I think it's a bit of like a fuzzy ending to what the, the work lady was doing. But when I was young, there's a time period in my life where Okay, cool. Something was kind of going on with you a bit weird. You could go there for some support. Yeah. yeah. You know? And it's dope to see, like, where, you know, Reach Out Project has taken things. Like, mm. I remember when you guys collaborated with Gap Bruh. to have the, the situation donating. And I was like, rah, I've got to cop something from there just so I can contribute in some way. So explain to us what, what was the Fair. situation with Gap? <clears throat> Gap. Yeah, you, you, can, you can tell us about that. Gap, yeah. The girl, the woman in Gap was my older. I swear. She was my older. <laughs> Bruh, I can tell you stories about us patrolling Croydon. <laughs> patrolling? <laughs> no, move like street pastors. <laughs> if I say her name now, she'll kill me. No, big up Sybil. I love big that. Big up Sybil. I'm te- for real, like, I'd, but fam. She hollered me out of the blue. She's been seeing what I've been doing on social media. She yeah. works in Gap. I didn't even. I don't. Obviously, you know, you get older, you drift apart, whatever. But the yeah. love for me, the love will always be there. Period. Because I know. Yeah, what absolutely. Went Calm. She's seen my stuff on socials. She's all, not spoken to me yet. She's spoken to her people. Then. I love that. Black History Month. Yeah. We need to do something. So what we're gonna do is yeah. We're gonna. You know when you buy something in a shop, and you pay by card. It says you want to donate twenty five p to thingy, or do you want to donate fifty p to to whatever charity it is. That's what she did for us. So she put your name as one of the she charities. She put reach out there. So every time you yeah. and, I, and I can see it live though on their portal. Yeah. Every time someone has put money in our pot. 
Yeah. We walked away with £13,000 last year, Black History Month. That's amazing. Just off the back of this. And it's so it's so mad how it, it came about, like, because I ain't bought anything from Gap in years mm. unless, you know, I'm getting, like, let's say, like, woolly hats or gloves and stuff, mm-hmm. like, for the little ones. Something that, very yeah. specific. But it just so happened that someone that I, I knew and I follow and support collaborated with Gap during Black History Month in her designs um, on a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah, to M yeah, London. Yeah. Um, she does her own events as well. Um, so I was like, let me kill two birds with one stone. Mm. I've got something to buy now. I, I have an incentive to go. Like Even if like that necessarily wasn't the case, I would want to support Lillian because that's a big move. Uh, let me go in there, buy something, just so that it can go towards a good cause. I know that I've contributed in some way. Yeah. But I was just so happy that like those two things transpired. Like yeah. and it, it it probably came from people like your friend Bruh, that were there. Having having black people <coughs> in these spaces is mad. It's important. Last year that was done. This year she brought them in for work experience. Super dope. Brought my kids in for work experience, bro. Like it's mad. Like stuff like that this is what I'm saying it hits different because Sybil understands she gets it she was there yeah she saw it her olders her friends we we share the same friends what we talk about same stuff so for her to get in the position that she's in and reaching back to me that's mad to me like and, and oh man no so it was like work experience at the head office in Gap yeah so see if you went to a school like mine my work experience was in Asda Fair. Park Royal what kind of work wow. experience is that? <laughs> but you know what I think that that's so cold yeah, is because obviously, unfortunately, a lot of refer- our reference point is music and sports, isn't it? Yeah. But the reality is it's a small percentage of people that make it. Yeah. I'm not saying you should kill people's dreams and that, mm-hmm. but like tangible stuff. Yeah. Most people are going to end up in the work. Careers. Place, you know? Yep. She's doing Get them into careers. What's your actual career? You're an accountant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it pays very well, by the way, but yeah. she's an accountant. So Let me see what that looks like. Like, Okay. And get them in that early, so at least they know and start telling people. Okay, cool. These, these are these are the so all those things that you see maybe on the the athletes and the musicians and that you can get that from a well paid job if you focus and knuckle down early and like actually have a plan in place, isn't it? Because some of us are running off vibes, isn't it? A lot of yeah. us not not if it doesn't if it doesn't apply to you, fair, I understand. But mm. some of us just kind of maybe went uni because that was what was expected of us, yeah. Rather than like a true clear direction, mm-hmm. this is what you want to do. And I'm yeah. to navigate stuff as an adult now where if I probably had more of a direction, a clear idea of what I wanted to do when I was younger, I'd be further along. But you can't live in regrets. Now that we're aware, we make the changes. Literally. But you want to see, like, okay, cool, I made these mistakes. Hopefully these younger kids don't make those mistakes. So if you've got people that are saying you come in to the head office, you said you used to work at PwC. I don't know if you've done stuff with them. Okay, cool. I might know someone at Barclays. Or whatever the case may be, you know, you want these, you want the strip, right? Dang a little carrot. Well, you know you can earn X amount of money a year if you do these things and that. Yeah, you know. Bruh. and it can't just be closed stuff, but that that's the gateway to then getting them on the right path, isn't it? Bruh, do you know what's mad? You know, in school, see how you you had your work experience that was compulsory, right? Yeah, it's not that anymore, you know. Really? There's no, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not, not compulsory. Good. So they don't do it. If a right. school doesn't have to do it, they're not going to do it. They don't. Right. There's no work experience thing in majority of schools unless it's the upper, upper, upper ones that genuinely care or want to keep up that um, image, of yeah, of themselves. So we have to do it. And for me, even at that, yes, I know that they say music and football is the the roots that we're kind of keyed in. That's what that's what's keyed into us from young. I've got ballers that I'm sending to work experience because I'll be damned if that's your only way out. Really. Yeah, like you're gonna have options. Yeah, you're can you be a plumber? Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> it pays well. You think I'm ready to do a career switch? I saw, I saw right. my brothers over there with a van. I was like, what you? I said, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, um, no, it's a plumber that's w- eating yeah. well, well, well. Yeah. to they the point where you can set though. up their own thing. Yeah, yeah, literally. They don't know though. Yeah. I had a kid the other day telling me he wants to start his painting business. He's 16. Go help him on that. Why not? It's him, him like, on that. Stuff like that, labour like that, it will yeah. never go out of business. Ever. Because mm. people need that shit. Ever. In yeah, this country we're, we're, we're in... There's going to be a Donny that's property. like, oh yeah, I'll do it. But there's going to be a lot of Donnies that would rather pay someone to do it. Mm. Yeah, the property yeah. bubble in, in I don't know if it's ever gonna burst in this country. It's got us in a chokehold, like crazy. House is always gonna be there. So if you anything that falls under that umbrella, you're good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Fam. Sure. But yeah, the work experience thing is big for us though, because like 
I've been on a work experience, um, like workshop, career workshop that we've organised, and like you see that light bulb moment for that kid, like if it hits and touches one child, we've won. Yeah, we've won, like mission accomplished kind of thing, and like you genuinely see it, and we only get that if you sit with the child and you f- figure out what their skills and what their interests are and all of that stuff. Like we're super, super, super big on that. Um, but yeah, those are the highlights, like the work experience stuff the people that we've had come through, the people that support, if they're not able to support physically, send in money. My yeah. drama issued a huge check, huge check, took, gave us 20K and was like, there, yeah, do that, I love what you're doing. Came on a Zoom for uh, some girls that are mental from my area, spoke to them, mm. encouraged, like, there's so many things that people can well, do. You didn't get, get a chat to demand them, now. For what? what? What do you want to talk to about? When I was in school, Miss <laughs> came to my school <laughs> trying to tell us to... to <laughs> To focus for our GCSEs, we're like, yeah. "Where's Alicia at, man? <laughs> Shut up, bro! <laughs> you talking about? Yeah, talking about I'm trying to shit. focus on you. Yeah. <laughs> Where Alicia Dixon at? Come on, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's mad. The support that we get, it, it shocks me every time. I swear yeah. to you, like it doesn't, it doesn't ever get normal because I know what it was in the beginning. But we've got a, a proper good structure now. Like we know what we're doing. Um. We know how to. I had to teach myself how to relate to talk to a kid. Yeah, how do you teach yourself that? I don't even know. Like, I can't speak to them. Because you're using old school slang like Junjun. Mm. That they'll tell you to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, and even being patient as well. Like, oh lord, no, it's been a journey, man. It's been a big, big, big journey. Like. I can't talk to them the way I talk to you. Yeah. You gotta explain things mm. clearer. You gotta be patient in that it might not land the first time. You have to repeat yourself. Mm. They're not always gonna get it. Like these will tell you to they, they think they're big men. This one thinks he's a big man. You're a big man, no, no. He's, no, he's definitely not. He's in my in my mind, this one's always gonna be thirteen. I met him when he was thirteen. Yeah. Always. He's gonna be eighteen soon. In my mind, thirteen. Mm. So they they believe yeah I'm a big I'm a he was telling me he was a big man from year nine. He had so a he had a vision. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but then the decisions. Oh, the decision. What <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, but in Better their slow head down. they're making mm. yeah, but in their Remember head. What I was saying about adulting. Yeah, These listen, bills, man. bro. Then you realize it. Relentless. Ah, yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah, it don't yeah. stop. Yeah, yeah. It don't stop. You start um, making. You start making choices between the mirror jeans and your rent. <laughs> <laughs> you better relax, bro. Bro, I remember as a teenager, bro, like. Or even when I was in school, the six week summer holidays felt like it was lasting forever, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but like then you take two days off work now, bro. Yeah. Holiday wet, like things just go quick because it's constant as an yeah. adult. Things yeah. don't stop. Yeah, that's hey, true. take me back to 16. Miss Angara and me will be best friends. Yeah. I will be patient. You're going prostrate. You're going to apologize. <laughs> Let me go back to zero responsibilities. Zero nothing. Let me just go back to that. Yeah, those are the best, bro. It's lit. Yeah, but you we're trying to leave, fast leave forward them. A couple times. quid in that, and your bread and share share that. Get some chicken and chips in that. It's enjoying life. Yeah, we're trying, trying to fast forward. You had life like me, where your parents won't get back till six. Those few hours between school and six o'clock, yeah, pure bliss. The school duggery, <laughs> bro. You better go ham every time. I was enjoying life. Yeah, yeah. So it's life, man. Nah, it's so good. I'm so proud of you. So proud of what like you've been doing. Um, maybe not easy questions to ask. What did the next five years of the WeChat project look like for you? Ooh. So, I think the structure that we've got now yeah. and the team we've got now, it makes sense for Croydon. I'm from Croydon and I still have friends in Croydon. I know what's going on there. So when More people connected. are telling me about, yeah, so when they're telling me about all the stuff that's going on, it's making sense to me. I'm piecing things together. I'm able to be there because I live there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, live there. I'm from there, whatever. Um, but I think it's a program that can be implemented in other boroughs. Um, and... I do want that kind of expansion, even if even if it's not expansion with reach out, but I want to be able to assist people to implement it in their in their areas, mm. as well as expanding in Croydon. I think we can be in more schools. Little, little franchise thing, to like yeah, like, like everywhere. So yeah. Donnie's have to catch a boarding pass to catch a flight to Croydon still. Oh, whatever. Listen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know nothing about what's going on in in Hackney. I don't know the history of all of that, but there are people that are on ground that are from there that can really help with what's going on there yeah. do you know what I mean and I don't know it's it's. Uh, the issue is funding okay I knew it's we'd funding. get to money at some point yeah bro because th- this is the thing yeah they cut everything 
Bear in mind, reach out like from my pockets was paying for everything. Yeah. But there's funders out there, but the people that are getting the money, what are they doing? Do you know Eating. what I mean? Like, bro, differently. Differently. It's mad. When, if you, if you give me 10K, yeah, yeah I know that uh, food vouchers, kids are sorted. Back to school stuff, they're sorted. Hella trips. Um, we could stretch that for a year. Mm. We could stretch it well. But to get that, when I tell you, if I s- sit here with you today, I'll tell you how many rejections we've had for funding. Mm. I'm learning now, maybe it's word in all of that, but bro, what's that? I'm doing the work. Why do you need me to give you grammar? and Run the keys, man. Yeah, you man. Send me? that. Like, you don't want me on the emails. Yeah. Just run the red keys. Yeah. <laughs> Send that. Um, it's different. It's a different ball game. I'm learning. I'm still learning in it. But um, I just feel like funding, allowing like, grassroots these type of organizations that are really on ground doing the work regular like i always say reach out is a it's not a second job for me it's literally it can be it's 12 to 12 yeah because a parent can call me anytime a kid can call me anytime like you have to be there do you know what i mean but there's no support from the people that should be supporting these type of things and i think we we're, we're showing you okay this is the impact this is what we're doing this area needs that. Why can't you provide that kind of support and that cushion for that for this to thrive in that in that area? They're not doing that. Mm. But then anytime something happens, everyone's running with the same shit narrative. Like, it's mad to me. It's crazy and like you're doing an amazing job. And it's not something everyone can do. What does it take to do what you're doing? Bruh, a strong team and a great support system because I, I've crushed a few times okay. like mentally like com- like completely shut down because one thing I didn't realise because again when I say winging it when you're winging it you're going into this I went into this naive I didn't really understand the level of support the kids needed I didn't really understand that I'm going to be taking on their trauma right And but I'm taking on their trauma I ain't resolved mine yet so I've got kids that are in front of me that have lost their friends, but I, I ain't I ain't healed from the from the shit that I've gone through. I don't even really think at that age you really know what mourning is. I wasn't I didn't mourn any of the people that I lost. I know what I saw, um, like violence wise, them ages. I've not healed from that, but I'm hearing it, and as I'm hearing it, it's it's made it fresh again. You're reliving yeah. it again. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm taking on so much shit, and I've got nowhere to offload that. Big up, um, ops, obligé, um. She, um, when I when we first started, the first couple of years, that like she provided a space for me to express how I feel as it pertains to reach out and what I'm doing, because it's not, bro, it's not easy at all. Like, and 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 that's why when people can't volunteer, they can't be around, or they can't do certain things, like I can't put that on them because, bro, this it's not easy. But she provided me that space to kind of express how I feel and walk me through like my thoughts and just a- allow me to like cry and just be vulnerable and just do that so I can get back to the shit that I need to do kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So having a strong support system is important. It is important. Um. Uh. What, are, what was your question, sorry? Uh, what does it take? Oh yeah, what does it take? Um. I think also you have to really want to do this. You have to really want to help because um, it's not about getting paid. It's not about like getting rec- your recognition, all of that stuff. Like, it takes a lot of resilience. A hundred, hundred. Like, if you if you genuinely don't care, your thing won't last. Yeah. Like it won't. I could have zero pence and still do reach out because I I will show up for these lot. Like I will be there. I'll be on ground, kind of thing. Like you have to really want to help. It's got to be a part of your purpose. 100. I genuinely think that this is my purpose. Though. Absolutely. 100% feel like this is my purpose. I, and I didn't know what... You know people used to say that before? I was like, all right, yeah, that's great. I never really, truly... F- I it's thought not a coincidence. Like how everything has just connected in a way that it has. And people such as Ian Wright are reaching out. You know, people such as Stormzy, like, you know, out of nowhere. People in labels offering you tickets. Like, you know, it was meant to happen. Bruh. Yeah, I'm. I'm so grateful that this is what I do. Like this is that this is my path. Like, and I'm. I'm so confident that this is my path. Like, 
it no I, I don't even know how to put it into words like it means everything to me to be able to even help one kid and this is why i tell people like it doesn't have to be reach out isn't as big as people think it is you know probably got about 30 ish kids Thirty-ish kids no but this is what i'm saying though like people think it has to be this huge thing before you because i used to say to myself like yeah i'm gonna give back to the ends i'm gonna go back like let me just bus what's busing bro i'm an accountant what does bus mean <laughs> mm. do you know what i mean like it's dumb but <laughs> that kind of stuff it just it prolongs it it just means it's gonna be it's over there when i'm 40 ish i'll do that but bro you can help one or two kids yeah. now if you've got the capacity to like you said it starts at home and you mm. helping your cousins or your do you know what i mean like that you know are living on, in living amongst madness are you yeah. checking in with them are you providing them support like there's so many things that we can do on just a one-to-one basis it doesn't have to be this big hundred kids movement and it's all it doesn't need to be that I can sit here and be honest and say, I don't have, right now, I don't have the capacity to take on more kids than I've got. We don't. Yeah. We don't have the funding. We don't have the, di- and I don't think we'll ever get the funding. But I right now, I know that I, at least the ones that we've got, we're imp- we're, we're, we, we are present and we are impacting their lives in a positive way. Yeah. Ain't got to be a big movement at all. Shout out to the Reach Out Project. Thank you, guys. No, man, I love it. What can we do um, as a podcast, as a community, in regards to support, um, links any yeah just this space open for you just to like let, let our audience know what we can do obviously we added stuff in the description you lot have done bears though like i will be listening to the pod and i'll hear you lot shout out reach out like, and i think what that does it makes people who don't know what who we are what we do yeah search that and find that albeit they might find lils and not agree <laughs> 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 with lils and yeah. her opinions but yeah no nah. um you guys have done a lot like for real for real you guys have done a lot i think it's just signposting I want people to know what Reach Out is because I think all it takes is for the right person with the right opportunity to find out who we are so that they can then, like, help in that way. Like, things like taking them to, like, radio, yeah. the kids that like music or the ones that have got studio, like, big up brands and um, we, we take kids' studio and they, the payment that we have to, it's not, it's free studio. Okay. Like, because the thing for, the for, for them to do. Bruh. Didn't you also you took um some boys for a session with Alika? Am I right as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Alika. Shout out to Alika. Big up Alika, please, because uh, oh that drive to Shepherd's Bush is not funny. But, yeah, that's the homie. Bruh, <laughs> but she literally that was the first time I took kids to studio, and it was the first time that them the boys that really love music, um, got to be in a studio. They were so nervous, but she literally taught them through it. Yeah. Uh, taught them and like literally just got them comfortable to a place where they were expressive and their raps got me in the booth as well big up Alika because listen yeah I'll what are you saying rapper. what you got she a got 16 out there yeah her and her friend wrote me a, a young 16 you got ghostwriter no listen. no no, 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 no. So you're Drake. really you're no, really no, out no, in these no. streets so is Drake no, no, what, what's no. the between me and Drake no no write your own raps man. listen you don't want to hear my CRO raps no 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 things like that people just giving their time and it's mad when you sit on the side and you're seeing people shower the you, the kids that you love with love yeah do you know what i mean like it's it's mad it yeah. is so so mad like no nah, man the support we've had the people that have helped us i can oh god bless crept i don't want to forget to say that Shout god bless crept and god bless cosmic god bless crept and god bless dr cosmic because when i tell Shout you out dr cosmic I can be in my house, minding my business. Cosmic will send a message. Oh yeah, we got asked to do a charity. Da, 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 da. We put your name down. Four bags hit your account. Sick. I will call Crept. Can you come to the... He's there with the kids. Shows up every time. Shows up every single time. Did you take him to Crept and Cones? Oh my God. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> Big up Crepes and Cones. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Croydon! That's hilarious. What? Man. So you're saying yeah. signposting. What's the website yeah. for Reach Out? What's your... www.reachoutproject.co.uk yeah. That's how we're winging it with. There's no the in the, in the, in the website okay. domain. I didn't know what we was doing. <laughs> but yes, www.reachoutproject.co.uk 
So if you want to be able to, if you want to send money, if you want to support all information, everything, on there. everything is on there. You can donate through there, or you can yeah. message me privately if you want the bank details. Uh, it's a business account, so it goes directly to the Reach Out project, just so that you guys know. Um, so if you see you out here with new kettles and that, do you, do you know what's mad? <laughs> do you know what's mad? Yeah. <laughs> see, as Raya's planted something in, in people on Twitter's head, she's just like, mm, Lil, Lil's is enjoying these trips too much. Lil's is enjoying herself too much. Yes. Also, that's why I make sure that everyone knows that. Please, I have nine to five. As can be an op. Yeah. I, she is the biggest op. The thing I is, yeah, because, because, because of your nine to five, what your, what your nine to five entails, yeah, like you, that industry gets bread in itself, bro. If we see, I see you looking, you know, Please, very luxurious. Guys, it's due to the nine to five, isn't it? When you see me. I did not steal anything, I promise okay. you. Okay. okay, please, yeah. I take God, beg you. Yeah. But no, even with like the work stuff that I do, yeah. um, accounting um, and like all these graduate schemes and stuff, I'm making sure that the people that come after me, they got the answers to all of these online tests because yeah, listen- take the stairs, they take the lift. Bruh, listen, fam, we struggle for no reason, you know? Yeah. I mean, for, for a reason, because it means for me, it means anyone that's coming after me, you're not going to struggle the way I struggled because I didn't start graduate scheme till I was 26. Mm. 26 i left uni 21 22 four years of not getting to what getting what i wanted yeah bruh fam if you guys have the capacity to give back or help the people that are coming after you just do it even if it's one person even if it's in your respective field it doesn't have to be with youth work it can be with graduates it can be anything just help fam if you have the capacity to do it just do it just do it please 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 absolutely man. i think that's enough that's that's all we need to know you know yeah you know it's, it's really that simple isn't it? so I want to say once again, I'm proud of what you're doing. Thank you. Big shout out coming down. Um. <laughs>